It's Mega. And tonight, I got a special guest with me. Trace Chapman, what up? Now you know what's up. And it's never yeah. coming down. Hey, wait to fly. Long live the angels. And free the guys. It's Mr. Chapman in the dawn. Right on time from the mile high city. And it's a vibe swinging back to back. And make it slide. And they gon' light it up when we arrive. Long live the angels. And free the guys. It's Mr. Chapman in the dawn, right on time. From the mile high city, it's a vibe. I'm swinging back to back and make it slide. And they gon' light it up when we arrive. And they gon' light it up when we arrive. And they gon' light it up when we arrive. My nigga, hell yeah. Yeah, my nigga, hell yeah. My nigga, hell yeah. My nigga, hell yeah, my nigga, hell yeah, my nigga, hell yeah. I never expected much, but I knew I had that spark. Skinny nigga, big heart, old soul, new Glocks, old money, new blocks, new bitch, old thought. Hating on my Instagram, but I know that bitch watch. Stacking up, trying to save a knot on a plot to buy your bins off a lot. Off white, black shoes, interior, cinnamon and nutmeg. This ain't a Chrysler 300, little bitch. This a drop head, the flow just hit cold red No shirt, chains on, sweatpants, dunks on Chest out cause we been on, I need respect homes Group chat legend, that's really him in her iPhone Them corners that I been on, you niggas never been on All that internet thugging, you niggas need a hug bro All that clout on the gram, don't change that you a scrub bro This rap shit ain't for you Chill out on them drugs, bro. It's Don Megatron, a.k.a. I've been the GOAT, bro. I said, long live the angels and free the guys. It's Mr. Chapman in the dawn. Right on time from the mile high city. And it's a vibe swinging back to back and make it slide. And they gon' light it up when we arrive. Long live the angels and free the guys. It's Mr. Chapman in the dawn, right on time. From the mile high city, it's a vibe. I'm swinging back to back and make it slide. And they gon' light it up when we arrive. And they gon' light it up when we arrive. And they gon' light it up when we arrive. My nigga, hell yeah. Yeah, my nigga, hell yeah. 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 yeah. Airbender like Avatar and these Jordan 4s on this flight. When I'm in that Ace Town, they ride glass house and poke elbows at that light. Ain't checking no top 10. I'm not boxed in. I need big things in my life. I don't got M's yet or no rims yet, but still drop gems when I write. Everything meant for me, still here for me, still reminisce when I smoke. Back on that out of street, I seen a lot of shit, but still go outside when I'm woke. I was like four or five when I wrote. What I want to be in life was no joke. Really can't be that guy with no hope. No, no. I'd rather fall off twice and do dope. I'm swinging back to back. I'm on my way. Can't hustle with you. Hustle scared. That's not our play. Not See our squabbles play. at the parking ride like every day. Every you know day. me from that contraband. Ho say my name. Nigga like me don't got no reason not to shine and make my mama rich. Nigga, my 16s are so pristine like I'm Stoyakovich. Probably make a scene from all this gleam up on my pocket fist. Long live the angels still be talking through my consciousness. I said, long live the angels and free the guys. It's Mr. Chapman in the dawn. Right on time from the mile high city. And it's a vibe swinging back to back. And make it slide, and they gon' light it up when we arrive. Long live the angels and free the guys. It's Mr. Chapman in the dawn, right on time. From the mile high city, it's a vibe. I'm swinging back to back and make it slide, and they gon' light it up when we arrive. And they gon' light it up when we arrive. And they gon' light it up. When we arrive, my nigga, hell yeah. Yeah, my nigga, hell yeah. My nigga, hell yeah. My nigga, hell yeah. My nigga, hell yeah. My nigga, hell yeah.
It's emotional.
feel like that should be the Sons of Anarchy like soundtrack. This is hard. <laughs> Hell yeah. Proud of every unit. Every time I hang out with them, I'm like, I feel them. like I'm in the Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> What's good, everybody? We back. We live. We got literal royalty. <laughs> Denver royalty yes, in the building right now. <laughs> Jeremy Pate. Hey. How you feeling, man? Man, I'm so happy to be here, you guys. <laughs> yeah, Thank you man. for having me. Absolutely. This absolutely. is the best. Yeah, this is this is what we do anyway. So, like, that's what I told him. It's like, <laughs> just our, our daily conversations in front of a microphone. So. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, tell us about those two videos real quick. I mean, you so the So, the first one I did with uh, Megatron, Megatron the Don. Uh, that was Fire the first name, by the way. I yes. know, right? Yes. First time we met was on set amazing guy oh, yeah. and we had such a great conversation uh it was the first video i shot this year and we were just talking about our intentions and our where we wanted to be and just setting the tone for the year and i thought that that was a cool way to set the tone and what cool people to do that with and megatron and trace oh, yeah. you know trace is it, yes. in your words denver royalty yeah, in my sh- opinion sh- you know, shout out to sure. trace yeah, yeah trace is that dude one of the best uh, out of the out of the city and uh, Megatron was one of the coolest people that I had an honor to work with, and I really, uh, I really treasured that that shoot. That was really beautiful. So it was cool to collab, and then Trace and I got to work on something later this year too. So that was cool too. Dope oh. man, yeah, yeah. And then Cruz, that's my brother. You know, he's one of my best friends. I fucking love that guy. You know, we got to grow really close together o- over the past several years, doing a bunch of cool art projects together, and like. I think like making music videos is kind of like having a kid with somebody, you know, <laughs> sure. Man, that, where you're like, that's deep. <laughs> where you're just like, we, you know, you love the song so much yes, and I love the video so much. And together we're making this thing together and it's so powerful and beautiful and so dope. special. That, make, that makes sense. Cause I consider firing line my baby still a hundred percent. That's yeah. like my baby. Yeah, and it, it's like, yeah. you and I were friends before that, but then it's like, we have this deeper love for right. each other after that though, Ser- because dude, we made that thing together. Everybody you know I mean? like Dave's, Dave, you know, uh, yeah. nothing but high things to say about yeah. you, you know. Yeah, like, so. still talk to them. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, making connections, yeah. That's, that's what's dope about yeah. it. Yeah, so. I yeah. know. I feel like I guess you've worked with almost everybody in this room. You worked with Angel out there. You worked with everybody, man. You yeah, go. Yeah, you work with everybody. Bro. I think I've probably worked with everybody in Denver that's made a good rap song. What up, <laughs> so what, what up, Scriv? Arguably your best work, Peach. I mean, that's not arguable. I don't have a video better than Firing Line ever. That's, <laughs> so. To me, that's still on my reel. It's so Dude, good, I bro. Love, that's yeah, that's, that's good one. one of the best I, of music videos that I've made it is in my yeah. top ten. That, Fire. That, that yeah. plan, like, the planning of that video Man. was like therapy man like right? it, got, it got me through a messed up time right before that that's why it was like important so dope. for sure yeah so and the met you know the message that yeah 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 everything all you know, of the whole that, mind, yeah. how everyone came together and really yeah stepped up and really you know there's sometimes where people don't give it their all in a music video right and people aren't bought in all the way mm-hmm. and everyone was bought in on that yes, video absolutely. and that was really sp- some super important. My boy Giuseppe's in the chat. His daughter was in the video. Remember, Hell she yeah. was a little, yeah. little girl. Yeah, she's a, like a teenager now. So. <laughs> <laughs> but let's let's jump right in. I'm Paul Junior. I'm Boogie Man Pope. Here's the thing. Says lies. You had an MJ vid, fam. I like the MJ video with the Michael Jackson, my boy Sonny. Remember? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, that's fair. That's it fair. It didn't age as well as Firing Line. Not because Fire- of you. Like just like <laughs> just happened. The song it didn't age. Like Firing Line just hits different. So. That's how I feel. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't like not claim it. I, I still love the video, but yeah. no. But fi- yeah, no. Firing Line. Just, <laughs> it's just beat, such an epi- yeah. It's just such an epic piece. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So shout out to Max as well, our hey. producer right yeah, here. Yeah, Max. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna, dive, we gonna dive right into some best dressed guy in the yes, building. Oh, guaranteed. Oh, Look oh, at that guy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> what you got for us, Max? Breaking news. Couple things for the news today. First, we have Mark Zuckerberg passes Elon Musk on the billionaire list for the first time since 2020. <laughs> so he passed him before and then Musk passed him up and then he passed him again. Is that kind of how that works with billionaires? I guess. Seems I guess. So. I'm honestly not trying to hear nothing about them until they fight. 
<laughs> That's my What's, question. When did they get yeah, in the yeah, sure. yeah. That was like supposed to happen, right? Yeah. Get to the hands, boys. Yeah. He, he hurt his knee. <laughs> No, he didn't. I swear. To How did he hurt his knee? Surfing. Training. Training. <laughs> Training. <laughs> Sparring. Yeah. Uh, uh, who you I've got? Up, hurt my knee jerking off, maybe. Oh, man. <laughs> I, get, I get cramps sleeping. <laughs> so, <laughs> he was like, you all right? I'm like, yep. Just give me a second. <laughs> I don't know who you got on that fight. <laughs> I don't know. I don't <laughs> no, know, it's dude. Like, it's like, <laughs> like, are they gonna really fight? No, definitely not. That would be fire. Someone will cry at the end. Yeah, for so. sure. <laughs> they might. We getting, you know, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. I mean, that's we true. We might get Zuckerberg. And you never know, man. You never know. <laughs> Throw Tom from MySpace in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, but, remember Celebrity Deathmatch? Yeah. yeah. That's just all we need. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no, real life version, I guess. None of, our li- none of our listeners under 30 know anything we just said. <laughs> Tom yeah, from MySpace, sure. Celebrity Deathmatch. Sure. Max is like, all right, moving on. <laughs> I know MySpace. Uh, I don't fair. know Celebrity Deathmatch, though. Yeah, that's fair. It's you it's should classic. YouTube, Google it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rust Dang. Rust movie armorer sentenced to 18 months in prison. So you know the backstory, like Alec Baldwin oh, had the oh, prop yeah, gun. She, okay. was she was in charge, from what I understand, she was in charge of making sure that there were no bullets in it. Okay, so, so they gave her 18 months. That's fair. 18, yeah, I mean, I do I'm, more. If it, was, if it was full on accidental, that's that's fair, I guess. Don't take her life away. It sucks, but it's like. I don't know. That, whole, know. that whole thing is that's very conspiracy weird to me. I don't know. It just mm. seems like such a really stupid mistake for a high production movie. Being a videographer, like You'd imagine be surprised that. How yeah, I guess, ridiculous yeah, I guess, that you're like. I guess. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, just the gun at the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we can't find the props, sir. Here, just use this. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. Angeles said, Pate made it, always cheesing. <laughs> Shout out to Angeles. Bro, he's, uh, Scriff said, Bro, Elon weighs, outweighs Zuck by 50. Dang. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, he's well, that's not even a fair fight. Then. I mean, nah. weight, weight ain't everything. I weigh more than you. <laughs> You Could you beat me up? I would say. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> can you imagine? Jeremy, old, can you imagine Jeremy in a fight? Like I know he has us that side to him. I can't picture it though. <laughs> like it'd be the craziest shit. Like that would be so crazy, bro. <laughs> that was an old life. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. I did DMT since. Yeah. Oh lord. Yeah. <laughs> you exposed it all, all my man. secrets. Yeah. Man for it. Yeah. Oh, uh, what you got next, Max? South Carolina defeats Iowa 87-75 to become undefeated in the women's NCAA tournament. You sports guy? Uh no. No. Extreme not at all. sports, but not Yeah, I mean normal people sports. That counts. Players. I'm an extreme dude, bro. Did you wa- did you watch the game? Uh the game? I caught some of it. So you Caitlin Clark lost. Yeah. So I don't know I don't, what that know. does, but <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it was, a, it was a good tournament. Put it this right? way: I watched the game, and I, got, I can't remember the last time I watched a, a women's college basketball game. For no, sure, nothing against women basketball, it's yeah. just interest. But I was in there, dude. I was like, "Oh my god, that shit's yeah, yeah. crazy!" <laughs> and I might, I don't know, might catch a couple WNBA games now that they're in the league. So. That's the thing. That's what they needed, man. Yeah, they do. They she definitely did go need that. number one last night. Yep. And then Angel Reese and what's the girl? Uh, the big girl from Cardozo. Up. They both went to the, like the same team, Chicago. Yeah, Chicago, Chicago Sky, fire. I see that, Twin yeah. Towers, dude. Dang. So, yeah, I might, I might catch some games. It is fun to see, a, especially as a girl dad, just like to see uh, right, the buzz yeah, around for sure. women's sports and yeah. be like, man, people are kind of excited about that. And That's like, cool. and like, they're good, bro. Caitlin Clark is a freaking dude, sniper. Really like, good, so we yeah. talked about that, but like, she's they really, really are that good. So yeah, absolutely. Word she's up, the best up. woman I've ever seen. Yep, I agree with that. Straight up, that's legit. Next on the list, we have. L.A. Vault Heist. Okay, Dang. so they always throw these little these little nuggets in. I don't know if you heard about this. So I did see they that. say there was a thirty million dollar heist from an L.A. storage facility. Whoa, says which sounds like an Ocean's Eleven outtake remains a mystery <laughs> for investigators, but they're zeroing in on several fa- false alarms triggered in the building leading up to the burglary. Damn, thirty like minutes. Inside. It was an inside Boy. job. It has to be. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, like, I feel like anything like that nowadays has to be an inside job. One hundred percent. Can't get away with shit like that. Good for those folks, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. I mean, long as nobody got killed, like no Take hard working, money, hard working security guards or something. Wasn't but. it at a place where they just like store money? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Like, so it was right. like a warehouse where they oh, hold okay. a bunch of money. Even better. No one got hurt. 
No one got hurt. Yeah. And it's all pretend anyways. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just buy Bitcoin with that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Scriff said he played with Ann Strother from UConn in the summer when he was younger, and she was better than 99% of the dudes he hooped with. Dang. Nice. I don't know who she is, but that doesn't really mean much. Shout but out to Ann. That's dope, though, dude. Scriff was a baller back UConn. in the day. Yeah. Scriff, Scriff could hoop. I, don't, I mean, maybe he still does, but I only know back then, so. Big time. Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, next on the list, uh, Paul, this one's really just for me and you. I don't know if you saw this, <laughs> but yesterday, uh, Will Smith performed at Coachella. Yes. Jay Balvin brought him out. What did he do, Max? Did you see what, what song did he, he do, did? Max? What Foe, did he do, Max? Foe, did you see what song he did? Foe. What? I, I didn't catch it. Men in Black. <laughs> Men in Black. No. We, had, we had an episode, it was with Leno, and <laughs> him and Leno just acted like we were insane for saying Men in Black was a bop. The, oh, they the were hating. The song Men in Black. Like Big hating. Big hating. I I mean I I don't know if that's a Coachella performance <laughs> song. Saying, that's all I'm saying, man. Well, that's all I'm saying. It, it depends. It was like a bop, like when you think back to that era and be like, that was yeah. fun that we danced right. to that. But I'm not, I'm not like Middle Will school. Smith. I hope that you perform Men in Black to me when I'm 35. <laughs> that was the, that was the most polite way anybody's ever agreed with them saying it was trash. Like that was so polite. Uh, and there was a place for it back in the day, like when we used to dance to. I'm like, oh lord, I feel like an idiot. So oh, was the crowd feeling it, Max? Oh shit, went up. Okay, well the crowd's feeling it. Then it's a Coachella. It's a banger, know, bro. Came out if you drink enough Molly water, <laughs> I guess. So. Any song's pretty Alien tight. backup dancers. <laughs> have you been to Coachella? Uh, a- no. Any Coachella? Uh-uh. I never have either. It, it, it was on my bucket list when I was younger, but yeah, me too. I feel like I'm too old to enjoy That's it now. Exactly how I feel. Like <laughs> yeah. kind of surpassed my prime. Uh, yeah, so. yeah. Max yeah. Coachella. <sighs> have been Max yet. to Coachella? Yeah. Yeah. Haven't been yet. No. Okay. Not yet. I mean, one two. Yeah. I remember, like, I don't know if it was Coachella, but I remember when, like, Eminem and Rihanna were doing a show together. Sick. And I was, I wanted to try to get out to that, but it didn't happen. This was, like, Mm. 2014, like, when Mm. they were doing Monster and Love the Way You Look. All that stuff, yeah. It was, like, two of my favorites at that time, so, well, still, but you know what I'm saying, but. Yeah. What you got, Max? Any more? Uh, yep. One more thing. Um. J. Cole let me down. (laughs) I know you're gonna go there. J. Cole let me down. (laughs) Take Cole let me down. Are you up? Are you up to speed on the beef? I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, miss. you know, you gotta say, <laughs> don't. I love. I don't love J Cole. So <laughs> it's like, it's I don't like, give a fuck about him. Yeah. But he does make so honest, <laughs> music for folks that maybe like Yu Gi Oh, and so okay. you gotta assume that they don't want the smoke. That's a good point. You know what That's I mean? A it's a he's a, he's just a an awesome yeah. docile fella yeah. <laughs> that just wants to tell his little story. It's a good way to, good way to put it. <laughs> it really is, though. Did you hear you Drake's? Know? Did you hear Drake's response? I uh, like Drake's. It's pretty fresh. It's like, I mean, like, literally fresh. Like, it's like two days old or something uh, like that, right? And it was yeah. real? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's real, yeah. I can't tell what's real. Yeah, you never I know. know. That's you what I'm saying. Know. No, it is. I yeah. made sure before I even took it seriously, so. Okay. And then. Yeah, now, I think I did listen to that one then because I didn't want to claim that I knew it if it was an AI <laughs> song and then so I feel like a fucking we, idiot. It sucks yeah. that we have to worry about. So that I did hear that then. Yes, and then there was a Rick Ross one. Yeah, as the well. Rick Ross mm-hmm. wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, I liked it. I mean, also, it was all right. I was like categorizing all. It's like each rapper has like an archetype that they perform to. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like yeah. you know, you have the J Cole for the docile fellas. You got the Rick Ross right. for like. Yes. I identify with like the fake hustler, you know. Mm-hmm. You're like, yeah, I'm out here getting my money. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Then you got yeah. the Drake, who's the Rico Suave, yeah. who's like gonna steal everybody. Yes. And then you got the Kendrick Lamar, who you're like, I wear platform shoes and see through shirts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, settle down. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> Let me, listen, he's, listen, listen, listen. But it's Hold real. On. No, That's no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. So J Cole, I have, I don't even have a problem with his apology. Like I knew that's who J Cole was. I knew that was the person he was. Yeah. So when I when he dissed Kendrick back, I went on social media and I was like, the diss feels un or inauthentic. It doesn't feel like he means it. It feels right. like it was like kind of testing the waters. I was like, it, it, so it didn't hit. It didn't hit like Kendrick's yeah. did. Yeah. And then all the J. Cole fans, like Max and others, were just like, no, it was fire. It's a warning. Just wait. So really, it's the the Cole fans, not J. Cole himself, that people were like, y'all need to chill out. Sure. Cole, and then boom, you apologize. Exactly. Like, that's what happens, bro. <laughs> like, What I want, though, what I said on the internet was that I want a one train. With, ev- <laughs> with all the folks. Mm. Do you remember how? Do you remember how good One Train was? Do you remember that song? <sighs> Who's, it was. So. 
It was freaking Yellow Wolf, Kendrick Lamar. Oh, ASAP. Who else? The ASAP posse, yeah. was on the there. Hard. Super hard. Yeah. I Everybody mean, and their brother, that, that was like... That song, like yeah. that, was like the era of like every artist that was dope as that fuck, right great, there. Dude. It feels and they like they just like smoked each other, and it was yeah. just like a battle of who has got the best sixteen. That's to me, hard. that was so cool because they were hard. all on one. Yeah, you know how like the nerds in school like say they're cool with the the cool person, and then like the cool person's like I don't know them. That's what it feels like Kendrick is trying to do <laughs> to the rest of them. Not really saying like it's just like I, the, or like oh we're the big three. This and this Kendrick's like like I don't talk to you guys. Like get the hell out of here. Not even saying because he's better or worse. Whatever you want to say, he's just, the big one. It's like yeah, <laughs> what I know you got an opinion on. No, this. no, yeah. That it seems like he uh, he's just like I'm the guy. You guys are, you guys ain't seeing me. Fighting for two. Yeah, yeah, you know. Did he really remove, did J. Cole really remove it off of the album, though? Did you see? I, I don't He I said he's going to remove it when he apologized. Like, I'm taking it off. I don't know if he did, though. That I did been. see that he did remove it. Oh, did he? Yeah, oh, but oh, you, can't see, you can't. He's serious that's, about that's it. That's the L of the year right there. For sure. Because like, it's also rap. Because everyone it's was just like. Rap. It's just rap. And people were like being like, hey, isn't this so cool that we're thinking about Mental health. It's like, <laughs> exactly. That's fucking lame, dude. It's that's, fucking rap that's music, what, that's dude. What the Cole, that's, what the, that's what the Cole fans. That's what the Cole fans tried to switch to after <laughs> yeah. the. Oh, well, actually, he's just you know a bigger you, man. He's exactly. like, hey, motherfucker. No. Come on. That's what I'd say if I got my ass they beat were up barking. in front of the they bar were, standard or whatever yeah. the fuck I was. You know what I mean? <laughs> they I'm were the bigger barking. man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Giuseppe said, "So disappointing." Brandon said, "You got to stand on business. No take backs. Got to stand on it. <laughs> gotta stand that's the facts. consensus, man. Yeah." No one, yeah. no one song fights like Easy E. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, they Except don't. Except for Cantor or AIDS, whatever yeah. that one oh, was. Oh, <laughs> they lost that fight. That, that was yeah. a good fight. That's, 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 that's dark. That's, that's dark. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Max, are you okay though? Are you gonna be able to recover? No. No. <laughs> no has, this taint, has this tainted J Cole's I'm legacy sorry. for you? It has, because he lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> he lied to me. Uh, Guess what? They're all liars, Max. Yes, yeah. they, really, they really are. I mean, let's not act like Kendrick. Don't be lying sometimes. Yeah, let them just make their fun little art. I like Drake's cool. response, yeah. though. I like Drake's response. I don't think Kendrick needs to respond to him, but I liked it. Did you hear the the leak? They say they're saying it's AI of Kendrick. Yeah, the oh, response. Yeah. It probably is. AI is working overtime right now. Yeah. I hate AI, dude. Just for this, like, just for, yeah, for this, just scenario. for this kind of stuff. Because he sh- he sent me an AI Drake response so hard, and we but we didn't know it was AI yet. And I was like, well, and it was so it was better than Drake's it was, response. It was really good, dude. <laughs> like, it shit was really good. I was like, dude, he's I was like, he's killing Kendrick right now. <laughs> so. Now wait for the elections. Oh lord, oh, oh, man. man. <laughs> I don't even want to shame. They got to be a way to detect that. So. Nah, <laughs> but man, so you're. Let's talk about these music videos. Man, hardest question so, I've ever so had. If you, uh, I don't know how you wouldn't, but if you don't know who Jeremy Pape is, he's one of the top videographers in the I've world. ever met, period, but definitely in Colorado. In world. So we had him do his top 10 music videos of all time because it's like he's – that's what he does. Think about that. So his list is valid. It has yeah. to be valid. Yeah. It has to be correct. So this yeah. is going to be everybody. I didn't want to make one. So, so this HTT top ten. Let's, let's do it. Let, oh. There you good. It's just the intro, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. I just wanted to make a disclaimer though that maybe this is not a definitive answer, <laughs> but it number one is number one, but. Man, I had I, it was such a hard question. Yeah. Oh, dude, yes. yes, fucking a. That's why we do it. Probably, that's why we like to. do That it. was probably my f- most favorite question as anyone has ever asked me. Other than oh, if like, yeah. do you want a blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This making this. No list one's was... ever asked me that though. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. I don't know. Make, <laughs> making this list yeah. was pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, make right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, dude. So. Uh, so basically, we'll, we'll count down from ten to one. That's Let's how we go. do it. Sick. And this is I, like I, I got I got little clips of each one of yours. Cool. So we'll play it, and then you can just tell us why it's on your list. Fuck you want to yeah. throw out some honorable mentions that yeah. weren't on your list? Just toss them out. Like. Yeah. The, well, the one I wrote down was "Day and Night" by Kid Cudi, which I feel like a fucking idiot for not remembering. <laughs> Day and Night. Because to me, I feel like that was uh, that really was like one of the most inspiring music videos for me because I saw that when I was in college yeah and i it was like making shit and me and teach were just getting started and it was kind of just like man 
I remember when shit that, like that. Yeah, I remember so when dope. that song came out, dude. I was in Vegas. I was like, this is kind of dope. Yeah. And then they came out with that EDM remix of it. Aww. I still play that to this day. Like when it's I, the best. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, yeah. that's just dope. But uh, yeah, let, 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 let's kick it off. Number ten. Number ten. <laughs> Okay, all of Lemonade is kind of cheating. It's kind of cheating. I know. I was, I'm like, I was going to text you like, so I need one. But I'm, I, 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 he <laughs> does that me. shit all the time. All the time. <laughs> he just, I'm like, who's the best hip-hop group? And he's like, NWA and Outkast together. And I'm like, I can't do that shit. So. The super group in my head. That because, <laughs> because Lemonade was so conceptually, yeah. the whole out. It's like, like a piece. It is. It, it really is a piece. Is. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I so. mean, this one was for me... Uh, when I was choosing these, I was also thinking about how they affected me personally as well, not Absolutely. just like how good they were, mm-hmm. just on merit of how good they were. Right. And this one, to me, this one and Kanye West's rollout for my dark, beautiful, twisted oh. fantasy, those two rollouts with like the movies and, yes. and the whole nine just got me so excited for the music. And I probably would not have listened to Lemonade had it not been for yeah. how incredible the visuals were. So. And I remember... Very clearly, for again, my wife and I being on vacation, and we were like lemonade drop, so we're not doing shit while we're on vacation. <laughs> we're just gonna spend the next hour fucking watching Beyonce crush, oh, and yeah. I just that was like such a cool yep. experience. Yep. And uh, I have one from Lemonade on mine too, but it's just one one of them. Which but, I mean, we'll get to, okay, we'll okay, get there. Okay. But, mm. I mean, it's probably an obvious one anyway. But I was but, thinking about single ladies for Beyonce, but I couldn't. Get I it know. In. I couldn't get it in my top ten. I Me thought too. about it. it was, that, that definitely was an honorable mention because sure. that was like such a. It was a very classy, low budget music video. Dude, yeah, it, it was more uh, about the choreography 100%. and just everything. It, the, mm. Like the aesthetic of it was. Great. That was that's one where like we were talking about off air is like when everyone is bought in. Yes. Even though they know yes. it's not yeah. a big expensive project, yes. everyone's fucking with it. Absolutely, that's and, super cool. And it caused Kanye to grab Taylor's mm. mic, which was legendary. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Straight up, hundred percent, hundred percent. Brandon said, uh, my beautiful Dark Twist Fanny visuals are so insane. So insane. Giuseppe, yeah. Corday and Juice World Doomsday vid is gnarly. Yeah, that's mm. a good one, too. Yeah. yeah I'm not, I, don't, I don't think I've seen it. I don't have to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let you my, finish, but <laughs> that's what he said. My, well, my, one of my honorable mentions was all, all the Cold Bandit videos. Okay. Okay. That's but, what's up. Yeah, that was one of them for sure. Well, we'll let it slide. All of Formation, number 10. Okay. What you got or, next? Or All man? Lemonade was number or, 10. Uh, what a, well, Formation. All of Lemonade number Wait, 10. Got you. Just, you. you just leaked what Ah, I did. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Uh-oh. <laughs> it affects the show. Not at all. Bring that back. Number oh. nine for pay. Insane. Oh. You know how I know this list is good, just real quick, is I remember where I was when all of these videos came out. Hard. Yonkers oh, yeah. in the pool room. Contrast yeah. showed it to us. I was like, whoa. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Crazy. I remember Crazy. that. Shout out to Contrast. This, was, this music video for me, I've always been like a skater punk rock kid yes. that, that just like really liked rap music. Yes. And skating uh, is hip hop. Skating is a part 100%. of hip hop. That's like an element now. 100%. I would say, for sure. sure. Now, I think now. Yeah, but absolutely. Like, it became growing up. It was became not. One. That was not. Yeah. And so when I saw that video, for me, it was kind of like, oh, finally you motherfuckers caught on to how <laughs> tight yes. punk rock kids are. That's dope. And, and to me, that was it. It was like, we're. We've been doing this. We've yes. been wearing skin jeans. We've been doing wild shit. We've been making cool art. And now you fucking idiots have finally understood. <laughs> and then you flipped Lil Wayne. He started doing that shit. Yeah. Like the and now all and these stuff. little rappers are wearing thrasher <laughs> and t- skinny jeans. There you go. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Looking and, like me. And then Tyler, <laughs> Tyler's built an amazing career. He's yeah. like a three-time he's Grammy winner he's now. Like. man. I, d- I didn't th- I didn't know how far he was gonna go just back in the you know I know this was dope but what's and the other like, video by Tyler that where he turned into a, a horse Jerry bomb. A man yeah where horse. he's like where'd my dick go and it's like yeah, his dick is so gone did yeah. you see that one yeah yeah, yeah. Fuck, you used to play that, that over yeah, and over I, I was that, trying to think dude. of the name of that song <laughs> I couldn't do it but Damn. I think I mean all of his are so good yeah, but this one would just like set the tone oh yeah mm-hmm. this is and this one was just th- this one just came out when it was. Uncool to be punk rock. Mm. Yeah, I feel you. And he reminded people that that's what the fuck it is. <laughs> just so he, good. Just he said, I was there when he showed us this video. So yeah. he was there too. <laughs> Brandon yeah. said, Thoughts on Kid Cudi, No One Believes Me. One of my all time faves, randomly enough. Mm. No yep. one believes me. I mean, Kid Cudi has a lot, so. Oh, yeah. He's, he's my favorite rapper of all time. Okay. I can see that. Let's yeah. go. Tyler the Creator, number nine. Yeah. Number eight. <laughs> he got hyped up. Hell yeah. 
yeah. Limp Biscuit rolling. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I can see I can see bro. that being your shit back oh, when you were bro. younger, dude. I mean, <laughs> I'm a white guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, backwards fitted hats, yes. white tees, baggy pants. Yeah, yeah. If I'm walking to the party like this, I'm having sex with your girlfriend, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best shit. I, that's the, one of the best things anybody's ever said on our show. Uh, so that's great. <laughs> uh, this, that was the energy, you and know? just like Limp Biscuit, that era was so. F- it was just fucking fun. You know, I loved, you know? It. I oh, loved so it. I liked Limp Biscuit when I was younger, and then mm-hmm. I started to hate him based on rapping ability. Sure. But now I f- I forgot kind of like how hard the rock was in yeah. his music. Yeah. Like yeah. Like I mean, definitely they ran that shit for right. for a good five years. Like if he didn't music. exist, yeah, yeah, yeah no. Vert wouldn't exist. Exactly, Fucking, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Even Lincoln Park was the guy. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that, was like, that was like right before the Lincoln Park era, right? Totally. Yeah, for sure. Well, it had to be like right on the cusp of it. So totally. No, he did, was. Did you yeah. watch Woodstock '99? Yeah. <laughs> I imagine? forgot Bro, just what he did. Man, you, like, I got just chills just yeah, thinking yes, about the documentary yes, about yes, that fucking yes. event, dude. Dude, that, oh my god! Fantastic. I know. If, if I could go back in time, that would be one of the places I would go. <sighs> I'd be kind of scared, imagine? but I would. Bro, <laughs> you fucking imagine no. that. I would just take so I mean, much Molly and just run to the front <laughs> of the crazy. stage and go. Yeah. I'm going nuts <laughs> right now, dude. I just real quick, they handed out candles. <laughs> Why would you hand out candles to a crowd that was already like <laughs> rowdy? Like that would might have been the dumbest uh, thing anybody's uh, ever done at a festival. So or <laughs> someone that was at the festival was like, "Fuck yeah, like, <laughs> yeah or they were like, shit, down, bro." You know what I mean? Fuck yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah, you have corn, limp biscuit, uh, plain dude. It's like, what the fuck are you gonna do? God, dude, <laughs> of crazy. course, I'm burning this bitch <laughs> <Yeah>. down. <laughs> fucking, fucking a, man. Limp biscuit rolling, man. Yeah. Number that was uh, so good. Number seven. Yeah. Yes, sir. Man, picking what Kanye videos I was gonna have in my top ten was a task in itself. Because there's like five right? I love. Yeah. That one is amazing. Yeah. yeah. He just did so good. I mean, he's one of the greatest to do it in our lifetime. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. The ballet, like the choreo, like anytime an artist has, like, I mean, a million artists do this, but when I see a video, like, I would have never thought of, mm-hmm. I respect it so much more. Yeah. Because I have a pretty creative mind as far as visuals, but sometimes it's like, I would have never did that shit. Bro. Like, that shit is so tight. And that's yeah. also an example of, like, what can you think of when you have all the money? Oh, man, this was, give you know, me a he's budget, still, dude. He's oh, famous, Lord. Kanye, so he gets to do, you know, Fuck all. Yeah. This is like peak Kanye to yes, me. Where yeah. he, so, I don't know, just like being uh, yeah. able to have him have every asset, everything around. We were all waiting yes. for it. It was such a time. I to remember, just be like, I remember Kanye's when he perfor- dropping. I remember when he performed this live on yeah. like one of the award shows. Yeah. that was the first time I heard it, and I was like, the live Bro. performance. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, mm-hmm. he's I remember with the machine. Yes, mm-hmm. and I was and I was like, this is yeah. crazy. Oh I remember people God. hating on it, and I'm like, I'm loving this. Yeah. Why is everybody not liking this? But they're fucking idiots, dude. <laughs> but I agree with you. My beautiful dark is his best album. Best by, album by far. Easily, I'm with you on that. Easily. One. Yeah. I, I was ch- gonna try to put all all the lights in mine, but oh mm. fuck! I forgot know. about that. <laughs> there's a, there's a couple. That's what I'm man. Saying. I, power, that seems like power. the funny. Oh uh, yeah. All good laws. Yeah. yeah all the lights though seems like the coolest set. Oh, at the cop cars and shit. Yeah, and awesome. Rihanna. Yes. Rihanna. <laughs> Just because Rihanna was there. <laughs> yeah. Rihanna being there makes it the coolest set. <laughs> hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> all right, Runaway Kanye West. Let's go to number six. Now I'm not really. Is this country? Country music. Yeah, Zach not, Bryan. I'm not gonna pretend I'm a country music fan, but the video. What I watched all these just Hard. to make sure I'm up to speed. Yeah, the video was tight, and especially like the shots and the visuals. So and Matthew McConaughey. Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> to me, Matthew McConaughey is top three actors of all time. Oh, okay. I love him. I love him. I love him. I, I, can, love I can respect him. it. Yeah. I can respect it. And uh, just the. the I'm obsessed with Zach Bryan also. He's probably one of my he's favorite right now. Yeah, he's okay. for sure in my top five as of right now. No relation to Luke Bryan, right? No relation. I don't know. See, no. Two just, white guys. I'm just country. making sure. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the be, same. I don't want to be ignorant. <laughs> uh, have you seen this video? No. It's dope. You it's really it. good. The coloring is incredible. But the coolest thing I thought about it was that the backstory of Zach Bryan and this is a song about his father. Okay. And he really wanted to make this music video without him in it. And he wanted to cast it. 
properly and do oh, it okay. like a. That, that makes it way doper. Yeah. When you get the backstory. Right. And so then, so then Matt McConaughey plays the father and how they just kind of just right. did the story out. I really just love a good story music video. Yes. That's, that's and, where, that's where I live. And, uh, sure. just like, I could just, to me, I chose this one cause I was like, this would be the, this would be a dream gig for a director mm. of this, like having an artist that's so in love with the song. Yeah. It's about his dad, yep, yep. about growing up, about just being a kid. And then being able to, and then Zach Bryan being able to have Matthew McConaughey lead in it, and then mm. imagine being a director with that yes, and be like, absolutely. "Oh my God, this is the best life ever." Yeah, yeah especially like working with a celebrity, you gotta be like, "Okay, oh, sure, let's let's not geek out too yeah. much. Let's keep it professional." Totally, <laughs> totally. Like, but you yeah. know, they're probably the two of the coolest dudes right, ever. So absolutely. they probably had like beers and shot pool afterwards well, and shit. So we've done some interviews on here. We interviewed like Omar Gooding from yeah. Smart Guy, yeah. like. Uh, what was the other like Angela Means, Felicia from Friday, and I'm over here like we gotta just ask these questions. I'm trying to like, flip <laughs> yeah. out. It was it was rough. It was rough for sure. <laughs> oh, that's dope though. Yeah, yeah. So I th- I think that was a sick video. Okay, okay. Well, we're already into the top five. These top are the five. big ones. Top number, five. Top number five. Top five. Top five. Top five. Hey, I'm not a cow. This is crazy. Dog. I love she dog. She know I gotta keep me some okay, I don't know. Have you seen the video of that video? No. So one of the coolest videos. The ever. clip doesn't show it, but I just want to explain it real Please. quick. I don't know if this is why he chose it. It could it be is. visually too. No. The director of the video is literally telling a story with like random black screens with words, mm-hmm. like in the middle of the whole song. So the song's happening, but then the director is like telling you about the video and like what? the shots, and it's crazy. Young, you so it y- so yeah. Young Thug didn't. Sh- so. The shoot, they had this hundred thousand dollar budget for the shoot, mm-hmm. but Young Thug didn't show up. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I, didn't director, I didn't know that. So didn't the, know that. that's why the director does all that is because none of the shots have Young Thug in it. <laughs> and so the song. director is putting these notes, these cliff notes of yeah. like, this is where Young Thug would be <laughs> uh, pouring champagne on the girl. <laughs> that's dope. Or, Throughout the whole video, he and does then at the end, he's like, it's "Sorry, tough. hopefully Young Thug's not mad at me." And I'm creative, man. <laughs> and to me, I was like, "Oh, that's one of the coolest yeah. ways." You know. It's just enter- everyone in the entertainment industry is a cunt. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man. you know, you, the, this cool director m- did a good job, you yeah, know, absolutely. Did working Young with Tug- the cuntiness. <laughs> did, just made did, it happen. Did Young Tug yeah. end up liking it? I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, who gives I a mean, fuck about what Young Tug does? He didn't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, he didn't even show up <laughs> yeah. to his own awesome. video. I was reading some of the comments. and the, Like, I don't even know what the song is about because I'm just reading the fucking <laughs> yeah. Reading the little cliff notes yeah. of the video. So, yeah, that's dope. Young yeah. Thug, White Clef, Jean. Yeah, it's, and it's a great song. And he's, uh, I don't know. What's going on with Young Thug? Is he still on trial and shit? I don't know, he's he hasn't texted me. Yeah. <laughs> Flex. Flex all day. Lovely. I don't know. He didn't return my call. <laughs> yeah. he call and see if he's okay. He, he left before I, he he was gone before I left his <laughs> yeah. house. I don't know. <laughs> uh, number four, let's move to it. You know why I thug them, hug them, love them, leave them, but I don't trust the need them. Take them out the hood, keep them looking good, with diamond cuts and a freeze them. <laughs> the edited. <laughs> diamond cuts and a freeze <laughs> I love it. I love edited hip-hop in the 90s, but. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to assume ass and <laughs> that was the That was the, the clincher for you on this one. To me, this one, to me, this one was like. Like the quintessential luxurious music video of the '90s for me, you know, I've, I'm an '80s baby. So yeah. when this video came out, I was in high school. <laughs> me too. Yep. And so, and it ruled the top ten. <laughs> oh yeah. man! Like Appreciate it was on 106 and Park every day. Absolutely. Yeah. And the, I I remember the summer that it ruled, and I, and I just being like, yeah, that's the coolest shit ever, guys. Look at you guys yes. having a good old time. <laughs> Little yeah. did I know yes. all of those women were underage <laughs> prostitutes yeah. that yeah. P. Diddy brought in. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember Pimp C's verse, like, just clear as day. Yeah. Back yeah. In the day, I was like, and there's a funny the story fuck? about uh, of when I was uh, looking this video up, there's a funny story about Pimp C. He thought that Jay Z's line was in, he, what was the line? Like, in the back of the car playing with myself? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know but what you're he, talking about. But uh, and Pimp C, yeah, and Pimp yeah. C was like, 
why the fuck would you be masturbating in the back of the car? <laughs> like, what are you talking and about? And so, so Jay Z had to tell him, like, no, nah, I'm talking about like a girl's playing with me. Yeah, yeah. And so Pimpsy was like, okay, that's pimping. A little pimpin'. play with the dick of the truck. All good. <laughs> yeah. All good. Yeah. I mean, this, to me, that, that's just like fun rap floor. Like, yeah. you're, don't be a fucking gay playing with yourself. <laughs> Straight, this old, old rapper misogyny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you gotta gay, have a bro. bitch jerking that off, dude. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> like, it's gay to jerk yourself off? Is it gay to jerk yourself off? I don't know. Ask Pimp hey, C. <laughs> now, that, now, there's a concept. <laughs> like, is it gay to masturbate? Because it's a dude doing it to a dude, te- technically. Yep. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm one, super dude. gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's classic. That's nice. Bun, Bun B too man yeah like, yeah yeah rest it's in just, peace Pimp just C. a fun video absolutely everybody did their thing this was before we knew that all those guys were trafficking women <laughs> oh lord <laughs> poor poor though poor women but poor hip-hop fans <laughs> mostly poor women mostly poor, that's <laughs> yeah, top of the yeah, list yeah, yeah yeah that's what one a and b in the world will be you know <laughs> hip-hop fans. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. we feel for you <laughs> yes we're sad <laughs> in the threshold top three <laughs> get, getting there number three So obviously you won't get it from a clip, dude. You need to just go watch that video. Mm-hmm. Gives me chills every time, yeah, bro. I, I, I I've was, never not watched this video and not cried. Looks like a straight up movie. It's a bro. it's a concept video yeah. through it's and through. So good. Yeah, the song is Speaking pretty dope too. Guys, two, so two gay guys, yep. one guy passes away at the end. The, the how they tell that story in three minutes, <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah, and how they get you. I'm not getting chills just even yeah, yeah. thinking about That's the great. ending. I'm like, bro. It's so fucking good. Yeah. I, I, it would be number one if if I thought about di- it, music videos in a different way, but this it's so good to me. How often do you come up with the concepts for the artists? Is that a thing, or are you like, no, I don't want to do that. You think of the concept, and I'll, <clears throat> then, then we'll go from there. Maybe I'll come up with the concepts 80% of the time. Oh, okay, so quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, the only times that it doesn't come up is one, like for Firing Line, when, yeah, yeah. when I'm working with someone like yourself where it's like, they're so passionate about it. I have to just yeah. You, visualize you bring it to dream. life. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I got this crazy vision. Like totally. I, I, and I love that also. Yeah. yeah. I think that's super important. And then the other time is like if they're just like, hey, we just want to um, be gangsters. Uh, <laughs> I cool. tell about the, we're, we're talking about music videos. I'm like, all you need is a graffiti wall. Just wrap in front yeah. of the wall, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wrap in front of the just wall. Just do gang know. shit. Just yeah. throw up gang signs. You know what, though? It takes a special mind to be to have that creative side. To, oh, absolutely! To visualize something like that, um, yeah, I commend Creatively. you, my man. I mean, like I even commend you. even like if the video itself's not like crazy conceptual, like just like some some people like be like, I want, I'm thinking of this shot or like this like yeah, angle, yeah. like I want to, I want to do that a little bit more. So I gotta like challenge myself in that department more. But mm. I haven't done a video forever. We're due. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't work with anybody else. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Dave. Oh, Dave's getting pretty good. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Shout out to Dave. <laughs> Uh, oh, Canada, Jason Coates said in the <laughs> I love you, Jason. <laughs> Shout out to Jason. Yeah, that's in, my brother. In the top two, number two. Uh, yeah. Come on. Uh, this is America. Don't get you slipping now. Jesus Christ, man. That shit's crazy. <laughs> Honestly. One of the, one of the rare cases where the video is so much better than the song. For sure. <laughs> Not that the song sucks. That's, the it's song's just, great. You don't listen to that song without the video yeah it's yeah, a I visual don't. it's I a don't. visual experience yeah, like, and it's insane it is yeah, one take is. commentary on america that's incredible uh, pretty accurate commentary on america from a pretty thoughtful person absolutely For you sure. know one of my favorite directors because obviously Charles gambino is a brilliant mind aside from music you know sure. with creating in all the ways and i have to imagine that he probably directed this video yeah i was gonna ask you who directed it it's so yeah so that, that would make like, sense it yeah. would make total sense. Yeah. Absolutely. But just like his vulnerability, the honesty, the the clever way to share that we're getting fucked. <laughs> Absolutely. Is a really cool I don't know. Yeah. I, I think Donald no, Glover is tell you, yeah. maybe one of the coolest creatives of our generation. Mm. I mean I And the, his backstory is so interesting. And I, I think this video was in all of our Top five, one hundred percent, at least yeah. it has to be top fives. Yeah. And when I brought this conversation up on set, when I when yeah. I was telling you, I, I, literally everyone was like, "Yeah, 
uh, list doesn't matter unless you have this America on air. Sure. Like, yeah, of and, course. And this made me think of like the story of OJ, yeah. Jay Z, and I'm like, I've because like I love that video mm. for like the same reasons as I love mm. this one. It's not mm. like I don't think it's as good, but it is dope. Like I remember like this, that, I'm not racist by Jordan. They all kind of came out in like the same mm-hmm. two years span. They were like yeah. really about the same concept, but this totally. blew this, them all away. Yeah, this one's crazy. This is another away. example of like when you have all the money, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Then you can do, yeah. then you can do some cool Total. shit. So like a one shot, do you just do the whole video over and over until you get the right one? No way. I bet he. This is probably not really a one shot. Oh, okay. So uh, it's probably a ten shot. Okay, they just but, piece it together. Yeah, very, yeah. <laughs> so b- brilliantly, fantastic. Because you did a one shot with Asia Black, right? Uh-huh. That video's dope. Yeah, Fire. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shout out. And reminders. I know you really had to do the one shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't have the team, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's kind of it kind of gives it more authenticity. Yeah, hundred percent. Jen Buggy said self sabotage concept was fucking lit. Beastie Boys. That's that's Beastie Boys, right? The video self stop. I think that's what it she is. She might be talking about concept the rapper. Oh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe elaborate. Uh, Angela said this video is so good. I feel like every time you hear the song, the video plays in your mind. Yeah. For real, yeah. that's yeah. hundred percent true. Absolutely, hundred percent sure. true. Yeah, you cannot listen to this song without seeing it in your mind. For yeah. real. But it wasn't your number one. It wasn't my number it one. Wasn't your number one? No, because I think music videos should be <laughs> fucking fun. Let's go, Max. <laughs> number one. Oh. Let's go. The funnest. Yo. The best. Beep, beep. Yep. Here come you. And everybody knows the <laughs> Everybody knows <laughs> yeah. like the track. Like You're a I should have came up with this. It. I should have came up with this concept because like being in the trash bag is perfect oh, for my here we go. music is trash. Here we go. <laughs> so I've been saving that one for like two days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> uh Globe said fire, of course. Yeah. And then uh the Langs, I think that's Leno. What's up, Leno? Yes. Leno. Yeah, this the one, Missy. Yeah, I think most yeah. people. This yeah. this literally popped in my head when I thought of music videos. It's like Bro, every time. There's so like good. three reasons why I think Missy Elliott is the best for music videos. I think she one is the most fun. For sure. Oh, she, absolutely. Coolest sure. person on camera ever. Two, I think that she also takes her fun and is like thoughtful about it and is not just like. Here's money, beaches. This is what I'm just doing for the fuck yeah, of it. Right, She's yeah. like thinking about right. What am I get? Wh- what am I showing you? Sure. To be fun and all, but also showing you a little bit of pain. Ooh. I don't know. So yeah, I think, and then the just like, and then number three, I think that just Missy Elliott just during that era, uh, she was like the only female rapper that wasn't like, look at my butthole. For sure. <laughs> Sure. And that's kind of tight. She wasn't selling sex. The butthole? No. She never had. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I feel you. Yeah, it was like you know, it's like just she's that. just like I'm as tight as you know. She had Buster Rhymes on there, yeah, and she oh. had so no, much right, swag, yeah. so yeah. much and swag. Like, like, I'll put Miss Celia up with any uh, er, uh, yeah. rapper of that era and For be sure. like, I don't know if anyone could beat you in that yeah, music sure. video scene. For yep. Sure. And then linking up with Tim the Beat, Tim Bro, Land, Tim Land. everything, dude. I don't know who was doing all of your videos. David La- David LaChapelle. Maybe mm. yeah, you wouldn't you would know that before me. I don't know. That I'm, makes sense though. Yeah, I just think like yeah, like like you said, the little things. Like in other words, she could have just the shot where it's just her. She could have just been in like some clothes, sponsored clothes, some tailored. Totally. No, put a fucking trash bag on for no fucking reason. Right. Only she knows the reason. I don't know if she's ever said it publicly, but I don't really it's care. Just so right. creative, it's just like man. so and the random. face, bro. Yeah. The face how she comes yes. through and she's saying to, it's like golly Dude. man, she knows how to. She knows just how to give the camera what, like, I don't know. I, I, I've i never worked with, to me, and no disrespect to any artist I've worked with, but I don't know if I've worked with any artist that Missy Elliott, just, she, just the way that she works that camera is so unreal. Oh, I, don't think, I don't think anybody would argue she's with that. So, <laughs> she's so brilliantly, like, because she's beautiful and sexy yes, and yes. powerful and approachable and confident. And yep, yeah. She's everything that I would want. In a perfect, you know, as a man, as yeah. a, in a perfect female, you know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. Is it like she, she not be like, she wow, had, like she could have like four videos in the top ten? Like she has so all day, many dope videos. Yeah. Dude. yeah, yeah. I think it's a very respectable number one for sure. Yeah. Uh, Jen Boogie says she was talking about sabotage. Trace Chapman. Oh, oh. I mean, yeah. We 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 want to get that. into your top ten that. videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might, oh, that that would would be, be, I would have to have you back on just for that. If I don't make the cut. 
<laughs> we'll Here we to, go. No, fine line. I'm sure there's no, another, sure there's another show out there that'll let you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just <fucking> just. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Angie said, Missy be killing it since day one. For Jake, real. Missy's the GOAT. So, yeah, I mean, looks yeah. like yeah, the general man. consensus is. Yeah. For sure. You Sabotage was inspired by uh, Tyler, the creator. Though, oh, okay. Obviously. Dope. It's just like that simple. That and uh, the YouTube channel, yeah. White Valley. Mm. Okay. Or Softway Underbelly. Oh, is what it's that called. is. Do that you is know a channel uh, right there? Do you know Matt Hobbs? Uh, For, he, he used to do videos under Vital Films. Yeah. So like from Aspen. I, he did like my first two music. Like I was like 19, 20 years old. But Sick. like, I mean, like I haven't heard about him since. He might be doing some dope things. But I'm he just is. Like, He's yeah, doing like, like National Geographic type shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just yeah. like like maybe if we have time, I just want to add like know like who's like some dope other dope videographers. You know, like I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, just like in the scene out here. You know, but. uh We've got a beautiful scene. Absolutely. With so many people killing it. Yeah, there's like some youngins. I mean, I have, yeah. I have a lot of clients shooting videos with like the same three people. Oh, stuff, really? So. Yeah, there's awesome kids. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Lincoln Bio, I think uh, Mac Films. Are, okay. Are like, those are my two favorites that I follow. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, why don't you throw that comparison up there, Max? Let's see. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can put it on the screen, but I'll be able to see it right here. So <clears throat> I want to see how close we got. I'm kind of disappointed in both of you for one thing. Okay. My number one, y'all didn't have anything by this artist. In okay. There. So my number one was Thriller, <laughs> Michael yeah, Jackson, I've the pinnacle that. of when the music video game changed. I feel that. I'm I just mean, not a Michael Jackson fan. I, that's fair. That's fair. And I was thinking rap. That's yeah, thinking That's rap. fair too. I was thinking rap too until he gave me his list, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do everything. That makes sense. I'm sorry, I was giving curveballs. No, you're good. I, <laughs> I, 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 like, I like this well better. I like this better. <laughs> you, you, number one, is put your hands where my eyes can yes, see Buster Rhymes. my all-time favorite video. Uh, that is a good one. See, I have okay. This is America number two. You have The Rain number two. Nice. Mm. My number nice. three, okay. have you seen, my number three, Who's Gonna Save My Soul, Narles Barkley? Have you no. seen that video? That's Will you play it? Can we get a sample? Uh, we, we might get booted, okay. but, I mean, I'll, okay. we'll, I'll show it to you after this, but, like, that's basically, great, have you seen it? Yeah, that that's video, like, too. it's basically. I'm just gonna give you like the very quick version. Um, this dude's getting broken up with in a diner, in Ooh. like a diner, and uh, so he kind of goes in like a dream world. You don't know it's a dream world till the end, and he's just like, okay, cool, and he grabs like a butter knife and like cuts his heart out at the table, <laughs> and the heart like gets up and starts singing the song, Sick. and that's the heart cool. is like CeeLo's mouth. Sick, and it's just like, but the, but the vibe of the song is what makes the video so dark. It's yeah. crazy, dude. Wow. You'd have to see it. It's okay. like, yeah, okay. I love yeah CeeLo very much. <clears throat> Cal, yeah, you I have a <clears throat> what you see exhibit. You're number three. Love that video. I can't even think of that video. Damn, it's like w he's walking <clears throat> through all kinds of scenes. It's 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 similar to uh, Childish's video where all kinds of shits happening and he just keeps moving. Out. Oh, dude, it's a classic. Damn, I forgot about how good exhibit videos were, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Busta, too. He had too. a handful of really good. Yeah, he did, He dude. did a, damn, wow, I forgot about the run the exhibit had. You got a California Love in there. Yeah. It's pretty. Of course. That, that one, was, was I was entertaining that yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. I it's, was uh, that what do you, it's like a Mad Max vibe. Yeah. Very much so. You know that's what they were going yeah. for. Yeah. That's got, another fun one where if you have all the money. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Lord. Like Tupac, to Dr. Dre. Yeah. Go Burning yeah. Man vibe. The, costu yeah. the costuming yeah. in that video alone is that's, insane. That maybe, that was, maybe that was one where they were tr trying to do the punk rock vibe and they, you know okay. what I mean? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely. That was... That was I have wow. Welcome to Heartbreak, my number five. Yeah. We talked about That's that a great one. one. Yeah, that um, was classic. You had Walk This Way in there. Why not, right? You're just not like an old school 80s not really, rap guy. Not really, but like that video and <laughs> that thing yeah, no, was big. The, the you know what I mean? The significance was yeah. huge. I, I was like, right. but I was just surprised it was on your list. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Every yeah. time you mention Run DMC, you're like, okay, move on. <laughs> but that one I, I liked. <laughs> I got Smooth Criminal, Michael Jackson, number six on mine. Sure. Just choreo alone. Yeah. Uh, Roses Outcast is in mine. Okay. That's that's a personal one. Ooh. I just love the 50s, the yeah. costuming and like the Letterman's codes yeah. and like the little snap. Yeah. I yeah. love that. And I, and I struggled picking an Outcast video for my top 10. I knew I was going to get one in there. That's the one I picked. That's a good yeah. one. That is so a good one. I was thinking AT Aliens. There's, they have, they're like Missy. They Fuck they yeah. push the boundaries a lot. They you did. Know what I mean? They did. But so Roses is a good one. Damn. You had B.O.B. by Outcast. So. Love it. Yeah, love it. Fuck, <laughs> that's, that's a great one too. Yeah, that's a special one. Sabotage, Beastie Boys. We were just love talking that about that one. What? That one was uh, that was in my top ten Pretty for sure. a second. Re sure. Refresh yeah. me. What happens in that one? It's like a uh, uh, what is that movie that I could 
it's a um, they're they're like dressed up. Uh, I don't know if they're robbing a bank or something, but it's oh, is it, it's like a what is that fish eye. Fish eye. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Okay. Yeah, that that one to me felt like that started the fish eye. That yeah, one brought dude. skateboarding in. That one yeah. was maybe the original skateboard vibe. Okay. Interesting. I yeah. can see that. Well, I mean, Beasties for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I have Rick a, Rubin, shout out to I Rick have Rubin. formation, so Beyonce formation. Hell yeah. Was, yeah. You know, of course. Now you have Baby Got Back rounding out your top ten, like number ten. Really? You like the big butts when I, when I that he's kid. standing on and all that <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, you've seen it, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. I <laughs> just think of him standing on a big fake butt. Right. Like, it's hilarious. Right. Yeah. Right? I can't eat. <laughs> and then my, num- my number 10 all falls down, Kanye West. Dang, two, okay. Well, so that uh, was, that was the, I think that might have been the first video I seen from Kanye. Mm-hmm. And that was when he's like watching Stacey Dash the whole way through his eyes. And I'm just That's like, right. I remember just loving that video. So. Dang, that's right. That rounds out my top ten for that one. A lot of cum spilled to that one, huh? <laughs> Jen said, I feel like this is the first time PJ and I have ever agreed on a number one. Thriller. Oh. <laughs> I mean, especially her being makeup artist. It's like yeah. the make, Makes you know. Sense. I mean, I of course, it. of yeah. course. Yeah. I, get, I feel you, though. That's actually That one came up in a lot of conversation, that, but I just a, don't like that, Michael Jackson. That's like a good that. side question. Like, 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 should you like the song to to appreciate the video? Like, it's a fair question. Yeah, I think so. Because I, I wonder if I would, like. Look at you showed me a country video that was dope, and I just don't like country music. Sure, and that's just me. So 100%. I don't know. That's an interesting question, anyway. So, mm. but I would say, so we have all have this is America, all have the rain, all have uh, Yonkers. Those yeah. are the three we all had on our lists. So, dope. I think we're kind of all a little bit on the same page. So. Dope. Okay. Also, it seems d- like we all like a little um, artsy fartsy expression. Oh, you didn't have a Beyonce. I was surprised. I know. You didn't have I was like you what's, top, your, you, what's your top Beyonce song? Yeah, you preach Beyonce to me all the time. Top Beyonce song? I'm sorry, that, top Beyonce no, video. That question is crazy. I don't though. know, dude. It's gotta be from Lemonade, right? Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. Unless it's all the single ladies. <laughs> oh, That's a classic though. Yeah, that is a classic. It could be uh the one with Jay Z where she's like the fires exploding oh, yeah, behind her. She's on the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, crazy love. Crazy that in love. One, that was pretty dope too. So, yeah. what are you looking up? <laughs> no, I'm looking at your list. It's just so small. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, thriller. This is America. Who's gonna save my soul? The rain. Welcome to heartbreak. Smooth criminal. Yonkers. Roses. Formation. Cool. All falls down. It's legit, man. Did did Outcast ever have a video for bombs over Baghdad? Yeah, he's bombs on his list. Oh, uh, Bob. Not uh, I meant uh, Rosa Parks. They did. They, they did. did. I I only know that, and I don't remember it, but I only know it because I was looking at Outkast videos earlier, really? and it popped up, and I was like, okay. I don't remember Rosa Parks, but <laughs> I'm sure it's fire. Outkast just does that. So. Uh, I was thinking that because when we were having the conversation, I was like, man, Outkast has got to be in there, but. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Brandon Hughes said, me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I? Is that, is that Beyonce? No clue. That's Brandon, Beyonce. is that Beyonce? It is. Have you seen that video? Uh, I think it's, I think so. I think it's in black and white. Okay. Okay. Max, while we're waiting for Foe, because he doesn't like to go to the bathroom on the way to the studio, <laughs> what, what's some music videos do you think we left off? Do you have any that just are popping out of your head? He's like, mm. J. Cole. Oh, Lord. Don't get me started on him. Don't get me started on him. Don't get me started on him. I mean, what about, okay, let's. He did a nice one with. Um, oh, you just fucking blew. I'm How did sorry. I forget Kendrick videos? Well, I totally oh, so forgot about let me, Kendrick let me, videos. My, 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 my leftovers, my leftovers yeah. were I did love anything. My, my ones that I didn't put on the list that were just too good was I mostly like every Lyrical Lemonade video. Okay. And I mostly like every TDE video. Yeah. So I didn't want to put them on. But most most every TDE video <laughs> is better than everyone's. Yeah, man. I mean. Uh, what Remember that one where it was like the the, the original Kendrick Zoom video where yes, it was like he's yes. on the roof and it's like all his buddies. I think it was a whole TDE yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, That's why I said it? I don't know how. Ke- I mean, as much as I big up Kendrick, it's totally slipped my mind. Even uh, uh be humble. I love that video. Yeah. No, and if I if I put that's why I was like I can't put TDE yeah. or lyrical eliminated because it would just be a, a list of TDE <laughs> music videos. Like, yeah, no, I feel Cuz like they're in my opinion better than everyone else's. Oh, okay. I think. Interesting. It just they're just so they're just so fun and yeah. cool and thought provoking and you could tell that they didn't make this shit to 
to impress anybody. They were here to say some shit. Because mm. there's that one video, I think it's uh, J-Rock. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot who does it, and it's a day in the life on in Compton. Have okay. you seen it? I don't think so. And it starts, like, with them, and it looks like they're, like, picking up a regular handy cam. And then they show like all the like the fights and the barbecues and the cop and it's Lord. one of the best videos I've ever seen in my Sounds entire dope life. As hell. See, this is why yeah. I wanted to do. I'm gonna go check them all out for yeah. sure. So any honestly, anything TDE made to me is like top ten. And then all this is maybe Miss Elliot still stays at number one. Oh my God, General said Stan. Stan. I know. Stan. I thought about it, man. How do, okay, I just... I just Damn, bl- how do we not put any M- Eminem on. videos I just in there? My, I just blew my own mind because I said I totally forgot Kendrick videos, and now I forgot Eminem videos. Yeah, because, like, like, my name is... Jesus that could Christ. probably be up there. Dude. Uh, the, real, the Real Slim Shady is fire. Yeah. Funny. With I mean, Tom even like, Green, was in yes, it? Yes. Yeah. Even, like, uh, his <laughs> later ones, like, Love the Way You Lie, Spacebound. Really like, good. Oh, my goodness. And Kendrick. I know that we already That's what we were, were, yeah, were in the no, yeah. we were saying I was D- in every TDE yeah. video. Dude. Yeah. I said be humble, DNA. Be humble is one of my favorite videos. Yeah. 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 You were telling me about the hedge. The I heads, love that. The heads, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the heads. How do you think they and did that? And then how they uh how they did all the heads. Because they're all his, right? Yeah. yeah, how, yeah. Do you th- how did how being the professional, how did they do that shot? They probably just had a crew a bunch of people in there and then they just pasted. Yeah, <laughs> then they, yeah, then they masked all of the faces. Okay, oh, okay. Matched him. Uh, Globe said, remember the time. I mean, honestly, Michael could have his own top ten if he wanted to be. Remember the time is when he was like a pharaoh or yeah, something Magic like that. Magic Johnson. Okay, I, okay. I mean, like, it's, like you said, all the money when you all got the all money. the money. But, yeah. you know, but I say if you have all the money, they better be that good. They, Why not? They have to be, they have to be that good. <laughs> yeah. You're making trash videos with millions of dollars? Get out of here, man. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> you just be J. Cole. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, come on. No, just, listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen. Uh, it's, it's not. <laughs> he's true, he's in my top five, but he's not my number one, <laughs> right? So, like. I'm just throwing shots. No, you can throw no shots. Reason. They don't. They don't phase me. I'm not him. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of music videos, I probably would throw uh, D'Angelo's "How Do You Feel" in there. Oh lord. Mm. Um, and then maybe uh, Johnny Cash is hurt mm. in there too. Mm. Damn. Johnny, Johnny Cash. Cash I didn't know Johnny Cash ass. did videos. Yeah. Oh shit! I, I didn't know they had videos when they were love the Man in Black. That's all like I when he's so. older. Yeah. You sure you're not thinking you know, of Men in Black, man, not man, the Man in Black? Man. Yeah, you sure <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say a Chris Brown video, Max. No you know, Fine China. I, no, yeah. Fine China is definitely up there. Fine, fine China. China my top five would probably all be like singer dancers. Like Bobby Brown, every little step would be in there for me. Oh, no, you get into those videos. That's a like with cor- a lot of choreo, like kid <laughs> play and shit. Oh my yeah. god. Wait, hold on. Is, so is Johnny Cash hurt? Is that the song in like the the Logan movie? You know, Wolverine, like the real sad. I couldn't tell you. Is I it, think that's uh, is it like a sad song, Max, where, where he's. Uh, I'm not to. I feel like it is, but what's the video? Where, I know Angel knows. What's the right video now. where Usher kicks the rain around? That's you remind me. Usher, you. What remind about me. Ludacris videos when he's like? I know Ludacris the was big shoes yeah. and the big arms and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, chicken and beer. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Rolling? that was that was up there. Yeah, and it, he. I got uh, he got deleted out the list because hard. only because I think that. He was influenced by Missy Elliott Absolutely. videos. Absolutely. 100%. So it's like, Absolutely. man, Go to the can't. source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. he was, yeah, on, he was on Drink Champs, and he said, like, Missy, Busta, they right. all influenced him. Oh, yeah. yeah. You could, I him. mean, you could see it so clearly. He did a great job. Yeah. yeah. Bust, he said Busta Rhymes him. is the one. He said Busta Rhymes is the one that told him in the rollout video to make his head big. Sick. He said they got the they got the whole video That's back. So without cool. that, Without that, it was just him, normal uh-huh. him. And the video was just like, it didn't hit. It was hilarious. missing something. He's like... Make your head big or something, and then they made his head big, and it just changed the whole. That's thing. hilarious. Do you remember that video? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, that's his great. Head was big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you couldn't that's miss why, it. That's why you're at. Saturday, remember Saturday? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Luda was, Luda was yeah. really good. Luda, man. Yeah, Luda we'll do a, we'll do a top it. twenty next time. It's hard know, for real. Because yeah, because he was on there. I'm trying to think who who else was on my Saturday. Ton of tiny list. You said uh, biggest boner was Christina oh, Aguilera. Dirty. <laughs> I want to get Aguilera for sure. A lot of boners to that one. <laughs> yeah, I remember that shit when it came out. You had a uh, most artsy. Here it goes again. Okay, g- okay. Oh, go. okay, go. Yeah, do you guys know? Okay, go. I don't think they so. did the what whole music video on treadmills. What kind of <laughs> music? What kind of music? Cool. Uh, it's kind of like indie rock. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. but the whole thing was on oh, music treadmills. Videos. Yeah, uh, the whole thing I was on like treadmills, and it was that. a whole band. 
Yeah, I mean, everyone's okay. seen it. That's fucking yeah, cool. Like the best music video. Or you have. It is one of, it probably is, like if you Google artsiest music video, it'd probably be up there. Yeah, Crank That Soldier Boy on there. On Man. There. Honorable mentions. He changed the culture <laughs> with that I mean, one. Yeah, absolutely. He crank did. That Soldier Boy, bro. I can't think of that one. Yo, the song or the I video? The oh, video. Yeah, I, was I know the song. Yeah, and the dance. Yeah, yeah. I just I can't think of the <laughs> video. That's, That's how you one. learn the dance, yeah. though, bro. Yeah. 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 Definitely how you learn the dance. I have done sexual things after this. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Try that shit. Uh, Glo- Globe said, "Take on me." Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know the eighty song. Take on. Because oh, yeah. remember, it's like there's, it's, it's like, like sketchy. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I that's really dope. didn't go to the eighties because I feel like they didn't evolve till the nineties. You know, Michael me. was doing it, but he was the biggest, the richest one. So mm. I don't know. There, I mean, there was a bunch of glam rock. Yeah, for sure. Mm. I mean, like I think Guns N' Roses had some dope shit yeah, back in those. Poison. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hair bands. Hair yeah, bands for sure. Yeah, they had all the money at the time. Yeah. All right. Well, we got through our top tens. Let us know whose was the best and why you think it was mine. <laughs> I say it on every show, bro. I say it on every show. Yeah. I don't think I've won a, won a top ten in fucking two seasons. So. <laughs> uh, but we like to do this. Uh, we're bringing back Name That Name That Rapper. I okay. got some, uh, I got some good. Whatever, uh, let's I'm do trying it. To, basically, I don't want you guys to get this. Okay. Like that, that's the goal. He's come on. He's surprised. Oh, hold me on. Last time. season, I did my yeah. thing. He got like. <laughs> but I tried to like. Tr- I tried to trick him with like a Kobe Bryant one because you know like he rapped a little bit. Little he did he that. know. It was like one of our clips. I, I bought that as a single. <laughs> yeah, like so in that eighth was like grade. A thing. Played it a thousand times. <laughs> the chat. The can't chat. Get me. The chat can try to guess these two, of course, but you know, come on, chat. Don't look at the fucking chat, please. He always don't even worry about me. Uh, you re- you ready for these, Max? Let's go. All right. First clue, guys. Right. Number one. Let's see. Young Jesus. <laughs> no, no, see, he's trying to, no, Young that's, Jesus. That's never worked. You've never thrown out a correct that answer. Off, that would have been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this rapper is from Houston and began rapping at age 14. Big clues. Okay. <clears throat> Big clues. Houston. Okay. From Houston. They made their name showcasing their freestyling ability under their original name, Hollywood. They. Okay. You said these are all days because I don't want you to know if it's a man or a woman. So this uh, is not to be so it's not politically mul- correct. It's not. We went through this before, but it's not like multiple. No, no, no. People. Well, it's that's the point whoever. of they. Is it could be, it couldn't be. Oh, you got to yeah. tricky. If okay. I say he, she, you're gonna like. That's a clue. Well, you know? that would help. So <laughs> that's the point I wanted to help. <laughs> they went on to build a substantial career, winning three Grammy awards and garnered two number one singles on the Billboard Top 100. Hmm. Two number one singles. Two number one singles on From the Billboard Top 100. From Houston, started rapping at fourteen. They're came out, came out. Houston for sure, not free surrounding st- areas. No, Houston. Houston. Freestyling. That's a big part of their of free their style, yes, of their yes, persona yes, yes. to this day. And they used to go by the, their original name, Hollywood. 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 Yep. Three Grammy awards. Three Grammy awards. Two number ones. So you know they're big. You know they're big by the accolades from Houston, and that's they're rappers. <laughs> or <laughs> yeah, let's a rap. Okay, like there's guessed, no groups on here. There's no groups on here. Okay. Just, okay, you don't have to worry about that. No groups. If, if you do, we get more clues when we guess, or that's that's I the mean, clues. Like I, Bugs, we need Bugs used to throw some out. Yeah. I don't know if Max wants to throw. You okay, know what they are. Houston, we got Paul Wall. Well, he was going to start guessing Houston. Yeah, <laughs> so, I didn't guess Paul that. Wall did not go by Hollywood, although that wouldn't be surprising. I wouldn't know. Uh, <laughs> Chameleonaire. But okay, think think about. Chameleon there was better, but think Paul Wall did not have three Grammy Awards at two number ones. You got to think about that. the still to that being okay. big a big deal. So um, hmm. from Houston, this one's tough because I don't yeah, know if yeah, they no. would know that this person's from Houston. They have to, unless you don't know anything about them. You have to know they're from Houston. I don't know, Houston. maybe not. We're Who gonna else find is out. from Houston? I mean, it's a, a lot Beyonce's of from Houston. No, maybe. it's no no singers. Okay, you ain't trying to get me. Just name that rapper. Name that Some rapper. Some thug is from Thugger. I mean, thug ain't got no number ones. Zero. No. No, no number zero ones. Ain't got no number yeah. one. But everyone says that Zero is the best rapper of all time. Dude, know, zero right? is. Listen, I made a post on social media. I was like, Z- you know, name a rapper that had. St- Way too much talent to not be big. Zero is that. For Zero that, is very talented. It, it's insane that he doesn't have that's any what I'm of saying. these accolades. Because yeah. he was going to be my first guest, but then when he <laughs> said those accolades, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. I agree with you, though. Zero is, he should have been a lot bigger than he than he is. But one, one thing that's kind of crazy about Houston and also true about the Bay Area 
is that you can be like an insanely yeah. successful yeah. artist <laughs> just there. And just there. Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta too. And that's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That's how Ludacris was huge in Atlanta before he branched mm-hmm. out. Like he talks totally. about that shit. So. And Texas is straight independent like, yeah, all day, so cool. every day. Are we guys talking about the towel? Um, no, yeah. not yet. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you guys are gonna get there. And I think there's a very specific reason. Little tough. flip, really? <laughs> little flip. He does not two number ones. I don't know. I think he might have one. Might be sunshine, but right? That was sunshine. Maybe game over. Game uh, over. I don't know if that was yeah, I know yeah, it was yeah, a hit. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if it was, yeah. it was Frankie one. J. Frankie J. Is that <laughs> no okay? singers, bro. Okay. <laughs> Frankie. Just, <laughs> I'm thinking. You're thinking of Frankie. Could it just what be Bun B? On Facebook, he's from Houston. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The UGK is both of them are. Absolutely. But what about just Bun B as a solo artist? Is this a guest? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I, I, I would I would have put him as a group if I did him. Okay. So it's not them for sure. Okay. Number one is where it gets tricky. <laughs> I know. Ones. If in the chat, rapper. you can guess too. Come on, yeah, what's chat. Up, chat. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're out there chatting. That's the, that's what they do. So hmm. you just let me know when you're ready to throw in the towel. I've never got all. I've never stumped him. Or a guest all the way through. Like, that's my goal today. I want. I don't want you guys to get any of these. Man, I hate that. It's number one bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> they get a little um, easier. Some of these, if you don't get, I'd be surprised. But this one is tough. Rapper. This one's tough. Uh, are we talking Scarface? <laughs> oh, great. Ghetto Boys, Scar- anything from there? Scarface is one of those rare legends that didn't really do the commercial success. Mm. So he doesn't have number ones in Grammys. Damn. I know he's a fucking. He is the guy from Houston. Yeah. Which is so you're to basically hit golf balls with Scarface? Huh? You got to hit golf balls with Scarface. Oh, dude. I would have flipped. That's fantastic. I, I love golf and scarf. <laughs> <laughs> I love both of those things. So. so you're basically talking a massive star from Houston. Massive that star. That we can't a massive think of out of a nowhere. So there's massive a trick star. to it. Yes, there is your Huge. crew. Yeah. A massive star. Huge. Drake. Huge star. Is Post Malone. Trying to... You know where Drake is from. No. This is Denver. Post Malone's Malone. from Houston? I don't know. I think no, he's from no. Texas. Yeah, we're throwing out he wild balls now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we conceding? Yeah, go ahead. Throw it up, Max. Throw it up. And I don't know if they can see it, so I'm with him. Meg the Stallion. Ah, oh, I wouldn't have got there. Don't shrug. It, I wouldn't have got there. Valid. It's all valid. It's like the last one that I thought about. You weren't thinking about. women. No, you know, I wasn't. wasn't thinking, yeah. I wasn't, but that Shame makes sense. On us. But also, how much like do you fuck with her? Not much. Zero. I don't know much about really? her. Any reason? Just don't like her? I just, as shitty as this is, I don't listen to women rappers. Mm, I get it. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, the content has to move me, and sometimes it's not related. Has to make for sense. Me. Just not, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. get it. I love that for her. Yeah, I absolutely. support her, but it's not what I'm listening so to. So make the style. Okay. okay. I'm, 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 I'm one to know. I see all you're right, one to know. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. You guys should We're really changing get, our mind, Fran. You guys should really get these next ones. Okay. Well, let's hope. Sometimes you get them before I'm done reading the clues. Okay, okay, best. okay. All right. This rapper was born in Mississippi. Okay. They attended HBCU Albany State University on a football scholarship before turning their focus to entertainment. Their debut single shot right to the top of the charts, and they became the subject of a bidding war, receiving offers from Diddy's Bad Boy and Irv Gotti's Murder, Inc. They've worked with Drake, Kanye West, Meek Mill, Nicki Minaj, and more. <laughs> Mississippi. I see uh, Bright Bright Everything said David Banner. <laughs> David Banner. You got it. You got it. Not a bad guess, but no. Um, not a bad guess, but no. Mississippi. Is David Banner from Mississippi? I'm yeah. assuming that's why yeah. Bugs yeah. said that. Okay. He said, M R crooked little, crooked little, ah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I was obsessed with David Banner for a Like second. a pimp, bro. Man. On repeat when oh, this came out in high bro. school. It was, that was the party song. Yeah, right that was hard. Fuck yeah. Okay, Mississippi. Do you need me to read it again? Yeah. All right. Born in Mississippi. They attended an HBCU on a football scholarship. So they were, you know, like a ball. They were big. Their debut single shot right to the top of the charts, and they were being basically scouted by Bad Boy and Murder Inc. Yeah. Okay, so it was early. Yeah, a little early, not like crazy early, early but 2000s. not nineties. Not okay, there, there's a clue. Yeah. Not nineties. Yeah. Okay. A little, little past 2000s. the nineties. Huh. <laughs> a little, <laughs> little scrappy. It's not a bad guess, but no. No. Young scrap. I like Tim No, because Scrappy hasn't him. Scrappy hasn't worked with too. Drake, Kanye, Meek, mm-hmm. Nicki. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. Yeah, so they've worked with that. a lot of the okay. heavy the heaviest hitters. That's a big one. Mm-hmm. So basically what it's telling you is they are you know they're big. You know they're mm-hmm. famous. Like that's big you shit. You know they're an industry product. They're not no like just super yeah. dope lyrical dude on the side. They're fucking it's an <laughs> industry <laughs> product. <laughs> exactly. okay. Yeah. They got fucked by Diddy. Someone watches P Valley. <laughs> 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 Bugs, we need more clues, Paul. <laughs> that's the point. I don't want yeah. right, let me think of another clue for, for sure. this one. He's your guy. You what? well, you love this guy. I love 
that's your clue. I love a lot of guys. I know, but this is like, <laughs> but, you, but you always have a soft spot for this guy, like, no matter mm, what. Dang, what's my clue? And this guy, yeah. for very specific reasons, has been relevant really recently. Interesting. Come on, these are pretty big clues. Fuck, Buck's got it. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> Rose, uh, I would have never oh, guessed Rick that. Ross. I didn't He's know from he was Mississippi? from Mississippi. I never He's knew from, that. He was born in Mississippi. I thought he was a Florida guy. He, Me too. He was through and through. 100%. That, that's yeah. where the trickiness comes in. He was born in Mississippi, but he was raised okay. in Florida. That's okay. A, I mean, if I say raised in Florida, you would have, that would you've been on the trail. Yeah, you I would have started going down Florida guys. So, yeah. Ricky Rose, you okay. know, you know, that's you, like tight. The, you like the diss, right? I love Rose. I love Rick Ross. Yeah. I love Rick Ross. Aston Martin music is still my shit. Port of Miami is fantastic. Drake. Oh, man. Such a good. The one, yeah. the one with uh, CeeLo. What's the one with CeeLo? Like oh. his hit? Like a song? I, I got tattooed tears of joy. That song. Come Ooh. on, Paul. It's yeah. CeeLo and Rick, it's Rick Ross and CeeLo. It's, yeah. It's the, called Tears of Joy. That's what it's yeah, called. Yeah, but the project. I don't <laughs> yeah, know what project. I don't project. remember what project it is, but it Fantastic was fire. Yeah, fire. Okay. Okay, well, oh, okay, that was I'm good. Two, I'm two and zero. Oh. That's well, great. Well, I mean, Bugs guessed it, well, so well, you're not. not Bugs is not at the table. <laughs> but so whatever, we'll keep. Bugs, we'll keep can, Bugs has Google. He could hey. be over here, like, because all say. these are from Google. All these facts are from Google. Uh, there you go, Joy was on uh, Teflon Don. Yes, there you go. Nice. Fire. It was good. Out. All right, Dang, these these, these do get easier, guys. Come on. This rapper was born and raised in California. Okay. He had a half sister that was murdered when he was. Uh, he, okay, you know it's a guy. Twelve years old. Yikes, Kendrick. <laughs> he began writing raps in high school. In the peak of his career, that he also earned a degree in architectural drafting from the Phoenix Institute of Technology. Nice. Went, now this Phoenix Institute. Now you're about, to hear, you're about to hear the accolades. You ready for this? He went on to release ten albums. Never won a Grammy, but was given a Lifetime Achievement Award by the Grammys, and he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2016. From, from California. California. Cali. I know that doesn't narrow it down too much because a lot of motherfuckers come from yeah. Cali. Dr. Dre. Is he <laughs> yeah. a sneaky? We're going to do the, do the yeah. Houston thing. That's so <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Dre is, Dre's got to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You think, him, just, right? He has to be. He has to be. Tupac has to be too, but no, it's not neither one of those. Yeah. Ice Cube. <laughs> Globe says you missed some of the clues, so I'll, I'm going to read it one more time. Okay. Snoop Dogg? You just said it. Key? I did. You just said just, it. You Fuck. son of a bitch. Yeah. He just said it. He threw it out real casual. Talk did to you him. hear him? Talk no. To him. Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. I'm going to read the clues again. Go ahead. This rapper was born and raised in California. He had a half-sister that was murdered when he was 12 years old. Began That's writing awesome. raps in high school. Peak of his career. They also earned a degree in architectural drafting from the Phoenix Institute of Technology. Went on to release 10 albums. Never won a Grammy. Lifetime Achievement Award by the Grammys. And inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 2016. Tell him who it is. Ice Cube. Nice. Ice Cube. Fuck yeah, Ice Cube. Yeah. We all fuck That's with tight. Ice Cube? Dud. Fuck with Ice Cube? Uh, not his music, but I think he's a great guy. <laughs> you <laughs> met him? Never have you met, met him? Yeah, yeah, have you met him? No, I never met him. You Seems would like you would have met him guy. before us. Sure. <laughs> Pape's like, yeah, Ice Cube's a great guy. You know, he's, his chef gets down. You know, I love oh, yeah. having dinner at his house. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, I I fuck with Ice Cube's music, but it was never like so hard, the hardest yeah, shit yeah, yeah. at the time for me. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You said you. I remember you said Victory Lap was better than all of Ice Cube's. One hundred percent. That's me, by, and I'll stand, stand by that. that. Oh, yeah, bro, forever, a trillion. Percent. But thank you. When you man. said yeah. that, when you oh. said that, I put it on Facebook, and it was a war zone in the roasted, comments. No, no, people no, those, half agreed, those half people did it. Okay. are fools. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Victory yeah. Lap is ten times better than Ice yeah. Cube's discography. Anything. Nipsey was that dude. Anything. Oh, bro. And he spent a lot of time getting ready for that debut industry. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm two and one. Okay. So you guys, you got right. between both of you. Let me get one. All right. Here we go. This rapper was born in Alabama. Okay. And when the, was the child of a social worker and U.S. serviceman. They had a family that had a strong military background. Fell in love with hip hop at age six when they attended a Run DMC, Beastie Boys, and LL Cool J concert. They would later on run into legal trouble selling drugs before shifting their focus to music and entertainment. They went on to work with artists such as T.I., Chris Brown, The Weeknd, Schoolboy Q, and more. Nominated for several awards, but only managed to win an MTV Music Video Award. Oh, wow. Wow. That's it. <laughs> so much more clues for this person, but they'd all give them away. From Alabama, huh? From Alabama. Yellow Wolf. Born in, born in Alabama. Remember, the Borans are tricky. Doesn't yeah, mean they were that's raised the throw-off. That's the throw-off. Okay. <laughs> that's a decent guess, but So it could be random. 
Who are the people you work with? Sorry. I'm uh, T.I., Chris Brown, The Weeknd, Schoolboy Q. A lot more than that. Those are just okay. the random ones I'm putting on here. A lot more than that. So, like I said. And the only... Alabama is a sneaky, yeah, they, they never a had sneaky no, clue. Never won no Grammys. They never won like just no... The, um, just that MTV Music Video Award. And even then, like, when was that important? <laughs> I mean, they're, they're still I mean, going. it might be. I'm, going, I'm trying yeah. to figure out, like, the timing of that. Yeah. Military shit. background, family. I don't know if that's relevant in that's their music to this day, but maybe. If you're a big fan of them, you might know Camilla, that. Cam- no, no. <laughs> what were you going to say? Come here, a little scrappy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go go. Camila Cabello. Uh, <laughs> I was going to go. Um... Schoolboy Q? <laughs> Bug said, Cube has 10 albums. He does. Like, right. I mean, I'm trying to think of the too. weekend. You, that was your clue? That's one of the artists they work with, yes. Who had songs with the weekend? I mean, a lot of a lot of rappers do. <laughs> G-Eazy? Max, you think this one's tough? Because mm. <laughs> Max knows it's what they are. It's, it's a little tough. Okay. okay what, uh, you got any more clues? I feel like the clue is Pape should get this. <laughs> Pink oh, should fucking get this. Out of and all what's the significance of that? I don't want to tell yeah, you yeah, why. Yeah. What do you mean? That, that what's just, the significance? That just, Pape should get Put it this, this way. When I say it, Pape's going to go, ah. He's going to do that whole Juicy reaction. <laughs> no. That would be fine. Uh, you worked with Juicy J before? Uh-huh. Oh, that's dope. I, I love Juicy, Juicy J. J. That's a good guess, but no. Okay. Worked with all these people. <laughs> and I'm like, D- Gucci Man? Gucci. There it is. Gucci. He got it. Gucci. Fire. When I said you should get yeah, it, you yeah, went yeah. through like Gucci. Yeah. Fire. <laughs> Gucci man. Yeah. Shout out to okay. Gucci man. Okay. He made me famous. I'd yeah. say that's what, that's what I always like <laughs> associate Gucci with Pate. Yeah. Even when we talked about him on previous shows, we're like, Pate loves Gucci. Oh man, Gucci that's man. Guy. Hell yeah, <laughs> he put dude. me on. That's yeah, big. Man. Gucci man put me on. That's dope, dude. Do you, is there still a relationship there? Uh, with his uh, manager, yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's yeah, what's up. yeah. Oh. We still say good friends. Yellow Jen said Yellow Wolf too. <laughs> no, I'm That's not putting. Guess. I'm not putting Yellow. He, that's his guy. I'm not I've, giving. I love him. Yellow Wolf, bro. No, I mean, out, did you watch Yellow Wolf's new music video? Yes. Good dude. call. There you go. There's your guy right here. I love Yellow Wolf. Yeah, he, no, Yellow Wolf's talent. Honestly, dope. though, dude. I thought the video was not that good. What the song? song was, what song was it? Song was this so is good. Off his uh, upcoming project. War. Okay. Yeah, dude. Bro, okay. the way the beat comes in though. When the beat comes in, it's it should crazy. go. It sh- the video should go crazy, and right, it doesn't. Right, it's very like it just it yeah. stays to the path. And when that beat comes in, I feel like something crazy should yeah. happen. I totally, I totally agree. Like he should just like start shooting up or something crazy. Yeah, you know yeah I mean? something crazy yeah, because yeah. the beat goes nuts. Oh yeah, yeah. I, still, all the I still like the yeah. what is it? Trunk, the trunk, trunk music, trunk music. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, Girl, it's yeah. not. It's not. That, that's not the song though. That's the uh, album. What are you talking? Pop the trunk? Is it called uh, Pop the Trunk or something? Pop the Trunk? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, it's like his first joint. It might be, it might be I that. Think about don't make me go pop, pop, pop the trunk. Yeah. 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 Don't yeah. make yeah. me go Howard pop body. the yeah. trunk yeah. Yeah. on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. That video's tight. It's like yeah. it's like in Backwoods, mm-hmm. Bama or 100%. some shit. And the one, uh, Le- Daddy's Lambo. That video's that's fun. Oh, yeah. That video's fun. He's had, he's that's had the, really that's the Yellow Wolf I used to like a lot more Like when he was rapping, rapping. he's on some. I know. No, he's the best. Yeah, he's the best. Yeah. And right. it, rest in peace, Derek. But Derek was really good friends with Yellow Wolf's drummer. Oh. So Yellow oh, Wolf used dope. to come stay at our house. Dope. You, you, put, you put me on Yellow Wolf years, <laughs> years ago. Like, well, like he's a years. really, really good artist, man. Yeah, no, he's, he's nice. dope. Okay, okay. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are going to get this. Okay. <laughs> this rapper was born in New Jersey as the child of a police officer. They released their debut album at age 19. The name they would eventually go by means delicate and very kind in Arabic. I don't know. You don't know that Ooh. one. Considered one of the pioneers of the hip hop genre, went on to listen to these accolades. Went on to win a Grammy Award, an Emmy Award, a Golden Globe Award, three Screen Actors Queen Guild. Queen Latifah. Talk to me. See, he does it before I'm done reading. No. That's fucking bullshit. I shouldn't have did all the fucking accolades. Would you have got them? I was just waiting for the movie stuff to roll in. <laughs> for the queen. But you could have yeah. went in. Why did you go to LL Cool J or fucking uh, most dev? Or... You know, that's a cool name. Damn. A bunch well, of movies. Okay, stuff. well, hold on. Three Screen Actors Guild Awards, three NAACP Image Awards, and was nominated wow. for an Academy Award. But Let's go. Dude. The movie Chicago. She was nominated for Chicago. Loki, she's so tight. Oh, dude. Yeah. And she, what? She's a movie, or a TV star now, right? She's yeah, the, the, the Equalizer. She's so or is, uh, Not the Equalizer. Uh, 
It's something like that. I think that's I what it is. Because that's, like that's a Denzel movie, too. I'm, I was, yeah, maybe. Thought maybe I was maybe he's like doing something like, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said, Peach gets so mad. I'm trying to stump him. Yeah. Fuck. The first, the first couple, though, I was out of here. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea. Uh, uh, so I'm basically. <laughs> We're basically, saying little scrappy the entire <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. Basically, I'm going to have to rethink <laughs> back when I get to the act. Why is little scrappy's name popping up so much? I love you, I love love you little scrappy. We could probably get him on for an interview. We need to try to reach out. Yeah. Talk about no problem. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You don't want no problem. If with you me. don't, if you don't get this one, I'm gonna quit. Okay. So, this rapper was born in Missouri. Okay. And his mother nearly died while she was in labor with them for 73 hours. Shit. 73 hours. Anyway. That's a grind. Both of their parents played in a band. <laughs> That's a grind. <laughs> both of their parents. <laughs> Both of their parents played in a band, so naturally they were influenced by music at an early age. Later, abandoned by their father, they w were raised by a single mom in poverty. Credits Ice-T is the first time they heard a rap song and began rapping at age 11. Interesting. I don't want to list the accolades. <laughs> is that, that's like, this is, this is worse than Queen Latifah's. Like, better, I mean, like. Okay. From a, Mississippi? Uh, Wait, where did you say? Born in Missouri. 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 Born in Missouri. No, wow. do you want, I, don't, I don't want to Who's do that. Born in Missouri. That I even. Yeah, do you want me to do the That's who I thought. Do you want that me to do the accolades? Come on, the accolades. Man. If you fucking get it off this. And this is a rapper, right? They're all rappers. Okay. So if you get it off these accolades, I'm not reading the accolades for the last one. No. Okay. That's just the way it it's is. It's not the deal. They went on to have Max. 13. <laughs> 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 they went. They went on to have thirteen number one albums on the Billboard 200. Excuse me. Won, wow. Won fifteen Grammy awards, and they were labeled as the most streamed artists on Spotify in 2014. Eminem. <laughs> no I more accolades. Don't know no else. more accolades. Because you wouldn't have got it before those. Eminem is from Missouri. Yeah, he was born dude. in Missouri, and then he, they settled in. Detroit. That's where he tried to get That's you. It's like MGK from <laughs> Denver or not yeah. Denver. Wait, Ohio. Was he born here? Yeah, Cleveland. Oh, I don't know. He, he, but he, he, lived, Cleveland, he lived but he here. Lived he went here. to middle school out yeah, here, yeah. but I don't know if he was. I didn't know if he was born here or not. But <laughs> interesting. Oh uh, Lord, nice. These were supposed to go a little longer. So. <laughs> Okay. Well, right, this, this right. Is, everything said no Google. <laughs> yeah. No Google. This is the, this is the last one of this, and then <laughs> for time we might go into some uh, headliner opener merch. Okay. It's another set. It's. I'm fun. here for you. I'm excited. Okay. This rapper was born in Atlanta. God, okay. that's, that's just a dead giveaway. As the tenth, at the tenth, as the tenth of eleven children. Okay. <laughs> that's a lot. They're known for their eccentric vocal style, guys. They had a rough childhood, even being expelled in sixth grade for breaking a teacher's arm. Oh, Dang. Shame. They began their music career in 2010, making an appearance on a hit single. They released their first project on a label in 2013. It was labeled a top five mixtape by Rolling Stone. Future. Nope. They worked with artists like Travis Scott, Pharrell, Ariana Grande, Drake, and more. Hmm. <laughs> Two chains. Good guess, but that no. Future job. was a good guess too, but no. Now the artists they work with this is kind of a big thing, you know. That means they're big big shit. Big Sean, no. It's a good one. These are all pretty good guesses. Big Sean's from Atlanta. Detroit. You guys are like yeah. if this is the answer, you guys are like doing this. You're just circling the answer. What'd you say? I said Big Sean's from Detroit. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if he's born there though. I think claims so. it heavily. I don't know. That's a great question. Do you want to hear if Quick funny yeah, story go, go about the strip club. Uh, <laughs> I always want to hear funny <laughs> stories about, about strip club. Gucci Mane took me to the strip club when Future was dropping his first mixtape. Oh lord! And so we went to Magic City, <coughs> and fucking the the there was like Future cutouts all the way to the front door to the strip club. <laughs> like little Future's <laughs> gritty here. Like listen to my music <laughs> and then when you walk in the script club you are listening to future's music that's, it was it was that's genius actually fucking uh <laughs> the homie uh zaytoven was uh, in there and he was oh, that's producer the, yes that's fire. still a good friend of mine don't fire don't yeah. look in the chat i already did you son of a bitch uh, give him time give him time. Know, yeah i'm out don't uh, look we're pain. good we're good <laughs> angel did i saw it. it i saw <laughs> it I can't oh, god you. damn it yeah. i'm not put it up max young thug young thug I thought y'all would have got that one mm. for sure. They were supposed to be I easier as they dreamed, were. If I would have dreamed. <laughs> you fuck with Young Thug? I do. Yeah, I, I love. Do. Do, you, do you know that Young Thug Elton John song? No, no. God. Sounds amazing. <laughs> it's the best song ever. Is That's it? Interesting. What's it called? Rocket Man? 
Wait, Ooh. he's like remix it or something? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's Bro, wow. the best Young Thug song <laughs> ever. That. I'm not Love a huge that. Young Thug fan, but mm-hmm. I'm a huge Elton John fan. I and mean, yes. Fuck, yes. dude. Yes. <laughs> that's dope. Will he remix Rocket Man? That's crazy. So that's good. Everyone should listen to that. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to check it out. I mean, I'm with you on the Young... I'm not the biggest Young Thug fan. I understand why people love him. Totally. Just never... It's a yeah. certain, certain taste. Yeah. You know? Yeah. For sure. I just felt like there was other artists doing what he was doing at the same time I liked better. Mm, Does that make sense? Like who? Like Future. Ah. Uh, you yeah. like okay. Future better than Young okay. Thug? Uh, if I had to choose, absolutely. Really? I know I know more of Future shit, too. So. Mm. And I'm not even the biggest Future guy, right. either. Like, so... I like Uzi probably a little better. Really? Really? I always Lil Uzi Vert over I like Young Uzi. Thug? I, I'm not don't a big say fan. Don't say he's trash. I, I, I took Do it not, yeah, took wow. it back. that all I the way it back, back. But I don't like his stuff like that. Do you fuck with Kodak? I love Kodak. I like Kodak, Kodak more yeah. than I like Uzi for sure. Kodak over Uzi easily. Kodak over Thug, right? Mm, uh. Tough call for <laughs> That's me. That's a tough one for really? sure. I like I them both. To me, they could go track for track. Yeah. But I, I think I think uh, Kodak Black would win. Yeah. Mm. Damn, I didn't know that was disrespect for Uzi. That's I just, crazy. I'm not a big Uzi guy. No, sure. I'm not a I'm big not. Uzi weren't guy. You that, weren't you uh, the one that sent me the little freestyle at the gas station with him? Yeah, and it's it fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, uh, totally. Respect where it's due, but, totally. you know, I'm just not. But I'll go young. Yeah, I'll go I'll okay. go Kodak back up. Because Kodak back has so many cool. No, yeah, Kodak is, I like Kodak He's dope. Lot. He's, so, he, He's yeah. so dope. Yeah, for sure. Is it, was it the diamond on Uzi's head that did it? The jewel? Yeah, that was weird, but <laughs> very weird. Um, no, you know what I mean. I just, I'm not into <laughs> to his me. The, it was that and the comb over. The, the comb, comb over <laughs> when we when you're doing that, I'm just like, where, 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 where are we going that here? Looks, and do, dance. That's stupid. Do you stay up on current hip hop like as much much as you can, or you kind of like a little bit? What's co- what would you consider current hip hop? I mean, there's stuff out that I don't even know about because like my teenage mm-hmm. nephews and shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm not really the guy that's staying up on it. That's why I'm asking you. Mm. I feel like I stay up on current hip hop music videos. Okay. I, 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 for me, I just love music video. Like to me, music videos are the greatest art form I mean, that we could fun. ever have. They're the fun. Fire. They're the funnest. Like when you gave me that question, I was like, this is to me is like asking me like, what's the greatest piece of art mm. ever created? Cause <laughs> I think I will put a music video up against the Mona Lisa every day. Woo, which one? The rain. Any, uh, <laughs> the bro, rain. any of the top ten to me. Okay. I'd w- I'd rather watch a top ten you. music video than a mo- than yeah, a fucking I guarantee. Oh, I would guarantee. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm with you. No disrespect yeah, to the art people. Out Lame. There, whatever. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Whatever. The painting connoisseur. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 That's cool for you, nerds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That shit's stupid, dude. Yeah. Look at the fucking music videos. Look at yeah. how that moves you and fe- makes you feel. Fuck and yeah. I didn't I'm get that you. shit from David, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Move over. David. Yeah. You Take your David. fucking stone weenie out of here, dude. <laughs> get out of here. Shit. They, really, they, really, they really did that a lot, didn't they? Yeah, oh, dude. Tons. Tons. Max, you got the headline. Tons. You got the headliner tons. opener merch <laughs> intro. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. So You got a good one? I got a good one that we have. Oh, you got, okay, real quick. I just want to explain it to Jeremy. Okay. So, you, you know, I, I don't know. You're not a sports guy as far as like football and all that shit. They have a thing called start, bench, cut. Yep. Who you starting, who you benching, and who's off the team. This is the music version. Cool. We throw out three artists. You tell us who's headlining, who's the opening act, and who's selling merch. Ooh, tight. So, okay. Yeah. I love uh, it. Max, if you got one, we could do yours first. Well, I, I didn't have the full one, but I got. Oh, you, we got like two? Yep. So okay. we gotta fill it uh, fill it out with the third. Let's get it. Sure. Throw out All the right. two. All right. Uh, Backstreet Boys. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. And what are you about to say right now? <laughs> Shit. Who's my second one? <laughs> I mean, and uh, Bieber. Backstreet Boys, Bieber. Then let's just fucking throw in another pop singer. Ariana Grande. Or band. Oh. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Ooh. Wait, Backstreet Boys, Bieber, or Ariana Grande? This is not bad. I don't think we're going to agree on this, but... Damn. Okay, so who's selling merch? Ariana. No, see? We're not going to agree on this at <laughs> all. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I think... I think <laughs> fuck, this is a hard it's one. A, Might everyone, be Backstreet Boys selling every, merch. Every one of these are disrespectful. Yeah, cause we I get think... That. Yeah. yeah, no disrespect to the Backstreet Boys, but I think... He had Prince like, selling merch on one of those. I think Biebs is headlining. He's I think Ariana Grande is opening. I'm with you. Yes. Yeah, I'm there too. 
Max, you disagree, right? You guys are all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. tape, like tape says, they're all just stupid. Wait, hold on. Who's, <laughs> who, wait, who's, he, who's yeah. headlining? Who's headlining? Who's headlining? Don't say the right? boys. If you no, say, say the boys. No, Beaver's headlining. Okay, so we're all okay. in agreement on, but you got. But you got. I, I've got Backstreet Boys opening. Okay, come uh, on, though. Imagine Back- them, though, selling merch, bro. Oh, Lord, imagine Ariana Grande selling merch. <laughs> yeah. Everybody would be at the merch table. <laughs> like, nobody would be at the stage. You know I'm saying it's a business move. <laughs> I'll feel you. <laughs> I mean, as long as Bieber's head, I mean, I'm just real. I'm a big Justin Bieber fan. I don't even. Oh, for I sure. I don't hide that at all. He's I'm a, such a fan of his adult music. Oh, yeah. Like, sure. I've always been. Me and Kayla were listening to some of his shit in the car the other day. I'm like, I need another album. He's got I need another G- album. Oh, yeah. need another album. Did you, did you see his tiny desk? I don't know if you saw it. It's no. not like he. It was like by Tiny Desk, mm-hmm. but it wasn't in their mm-hmm. desk. It was like mm-hmm. a, like his own home little thing. Yeah. But good Cold God, dude. dude! Like he. Can we talk about dope. let's? Can we talk about best Tiny Desk? Can, can, can we talk about how sick was? Okay, the two that come to my mind. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to hear this. Scarface. Okay. Fire. Juvenile. Ooh, dude. everyone loved that juicy Fuck. juvenile. Dude, dude. Was, how juvenile good was, was those? Fantastic. Fantastic. But to the, me, the, obviously, the best one is Mac Miller. That's up there. That's a great one. You got, you're throwing out like all one. That's a top, fucking great one. Did you see JT? Did you see JT's? No, I Fantastic. didn't. Dude, really? Great. That I one was, takes. Was, okay. Oh shit! I was really was better great. than Mac Dude. Miller. I was on, to me, Mac Miller is top. Yeah, no, I, sure. I'm with you. For I was sure. I was on the Juvie. It might be the best train until JT dropped his, which was only like a couple wow. weeks ago. No one dropped yeah. it. Fuck. It's great, bro. It's so, so good. good. It's great. I mean, because you know it all, but also he sounds good. But also, he has the best. Band. The yep. Tennessee kids are. Yeah. I've seen them live. Fire. Fire. And let's, he's got them all there. Let's like, pause real quick because we got to say that Scarface went on tour. Oh, yeah. Dude. We need to have more Tiny <laughs> Desk tours. 100%. Dude, that's the yes. only. Like, 100%. Because some. Because honestly, because uh, like for me, Juvenile. Love Juvenile. For sure. The better way to see Juvenile is a Tiny Desk concert. Oh, I agree. I, I told I agree. I was, I, was I was so entertained by that. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. When he I was did like, a, if we could do concerts like this, for sure, I'm dude. going to concerts. I, I'm yeah. and, like, and like you hear the crowd. I don't, I don't, I've don't. i never seen them pan to the crowd. I don't know what it looks like over there. It's just a group of folks sitting in the back. There's not even that many be, people. I'd love to be there. Yeah. yeah, dude. Because um, imagine, because like, you see like, like, uh, Future Metro mm-hmm. drop their tour. Right, mm-hmm. right, yeah. It's like, that's cool to me, but probably a better listening experience 100%. is on my Spotify. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Especially in the ball arena, the right, worst yeah. place to listen to music <laughs> oh, Lord, in the entire yes. world. Yeah, dude. Yes. <laughs> so imag- but imagine, though, if they did Tiny Desk Metro booming. Dude. Where would they do it at? Hello, and they, and they I'd perform. go there. You know, yeah, not absolutely. over their yeah. lyrics, but that you have That's to actually, perform. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. yeah, absolutely. Dude. And it's not in Ballerina. It's in fucking <laughs> yeah. Red Rocks. Oh, a tiny desk on the Red Rocks stage? Yo. Oh, that would be, be incredible. Be what if they did tiny gonna, Red Rocks? I'm going to at- one-up it. I'm going to one-up it. Go. It's a silent disco. Yo. So everybody has the clear that's crazy. mix sound in their headphones. Yes. <laughs> that's a lot of headphones. Yes. Though. I don't even know if that's doable. Yes. That's an experience, though. Yo. We need <laughs> to do tiny desk concerts at Red Rocks all season. Dude, Dude that would be fire. I'm How fire? Fi- uh, bruh. I'm with you on that. Could now, you imagine if you got a Mac Mill? I mean, oh, yeah. Rest his soul. But if you had a chance to. Bro. To Have you seen Mac Miller that, live? Like that. No, uh, no, no I, hate, I don't think so. I, mi- I missed him. I, I saw. Him. I went and saw him when he performed at. Damn. He performed with Chase or Chance the Rapper and DJ Premier. Oh, oh my Lord, god, that's fire! And you know what's oh super cool is my brother loves DJ Premier, and DJ I was Premier's able to legend, get my bro. brother to meet DJ Premier. No. Oh, sick! And so my brother, uh, I sent that's my brother tight. backstage to go meet DJ DJ Premier, and he does this thing, and he comes back, and he's like, "I was like, how did how did how did it go?" And he's like. I just said I love you a lot. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that's I my brother. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk about Jeezy having one of the worst? Per, live, oh, uh, Tiny, Tiny Desk? Desk? Yeah. Did you see it? It just speaks to... It that. doesn't translate. Yeah, it, it was It doesn't yeah. translate. Right, I was disappointed. When you, when you think that you're too cool for something... Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah that's, a good, exactly. that's a good one. So real quick, there's some good headliner Anthony over there. We'll, we'll go into these. The coolest thing about the JT one is what he actually did "Sexy Back," which is not a song I thought he would do with that. Mm-hmm. Amazing! He he pulls out a megaphone, 
And so Yo. his voice sounds like it does on the song live. Yeah. Just like that. Just you know like I mean? that. It's, it's and that's, insane. yeah, check Come it on. out, dude. Check it out. You'll love it. Come on. Um, I think Tiny Desk is one of the best things is. for the culture. For it sure. Is. It's so cool. And like, yeah. shout out to the dudes who do the sound on that. The yeah. sound mixing does Man. not get any credit. Incredible. Yo, great. Yeah. Yeah, for totally. sure. Totally, because so, you know it sounds just like noise when you're there. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Everyone in the live is like, what is everyone liking so right. much? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'd still love it. Um, Jen Boogie threw out Selena, Beyonce, Alicia Keys. Headliner, oh, opener, merch. Selena. Selena, Beyonce, If, any, if anybody Alicia puts Keys. Selena on merch, we're going to have words. <laughs> okay, all right, but, all right, let's do this. So let's do Selena, Beyonce, Alicia Keys, but Selena... Is singing Beyonce's catalog. Beyonce singing no, Alicia Keys catalog. And Alicia Keys is singing Selena's does catalog. Does Beyonce speak Spanish? <laughs> because I don't think she can sing. She Selena's does now. <laughs> no, Beyonce's got Alicia Keys. Well, so Alicia Keys speaks Spanish. Alicia Keys speaks Spanish. <laughs> no, she does not. P.S. Happy birthday, Selena. Oh, happy birthday, the Queen. Oh, damn. Okay. Now, otherwise, I feel it's too easy. Alicia Keys is on. No, merch. it is. N- <laughs> Damn, he's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's right. Yeah. There's no debate in that. The only reason Swiss beats come with her at all? <laughs> yeah. Does it matter? It no. doesn't matter. Does it 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 matter. Does she get moved from the merch table if Swiss is there? No. Oh. I would say the reason why I put Malisha Keys on merch is because I just think she's the she's the inferior singer out of the three. Easily. She's a little nasal. Yeah, you know? I would say. I, I mean, would say. but she's got she's great, massive but, hits. Yeah. Now, who's headlining, though? Beyonce. B. Yeah, easily. I'm pretty sure Selena was... Beyonce's influence, Selena. Yeah, but Beyonce's Beyonce's influence. Influence. yeah, but you know what She's I mean. Her up. Beyonce did better. Twenty twenty four now. You know, would would Selena have been bigger if she never died? Just hypothetical. You can never no. say. No, I'm asking. Hypothetical. Yeah, she was not. A I, I fucking mean, mega I star. But a bilingual. She would I don't have been know. like Bad Bunny before Bad Bunny. Yeah, but that was before the internet. So Were we ready for it? But she might have been. She might have went into the internet because like. She might have just been like forty five no. years old, ki- still killing no, it. The internet's not interested in forty five year old <laughs> Latina singers. That's where she lives. She, she still yeah. would have been doing her thing. Isn't that how like old she's Jelly probably Roll? not bigger than Beyonce. She, though. she yeah. should just l- appreciate their <laughs> t shirts and fucking. I mean, of course, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> like, just being devil's advocate. Beyonce's yeah, headlining. I'm yeah, cool with yeah, Selena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beyonce is. This what it is. Anthony Hamilton, Music, Soul Child, and CeeLo. Jesus, mm. criminy. And we know who's headlining you. Oh, yeah, Show the fuck know. out. But it goes just like that for me. No. Uh-uh. Not for Absolutely me. not. No, 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 no. Seals headlining. Whoa. Wait, is that Goody Mob too, though? I mean, yeah, no. if it's just CeeLo, he might just, be on merch for me. If it's just yeah, CeeLo, he's not I don't, deep he's, enough. Yeah, I, I, just I, CeeLo. I, I love CeeLo. He's great. I love CeeLo. He's great. But, I got but if it's just him, he might be on merch. I got for Music me. Soul Child on merch. Damn. Oh, okay. I like him, it's but been a while. It's yeah, been a while he since was, he was, but yeah, but he has classics. Wise, he has classics. He's an opener for me. They all have classics. He's an opener That's for true. me because just, just for the simple <laughs> fact that it would be a more enjoyable. I seen My wifey said music is on merch too. Yeah, I seen <laughs> I seen music and Anthony live. Anthony's headline. We He's all agree on easily that. Easily headline. Anthony, for me. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, Anthony's yeah. headlining? Because even if he did all songs, I didn't know. I would still be Cry. mesmerized it's by his voice. Because yeah. his yeah. voice 100%. is so fucking soulful. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I got to see him at yeah. Winter Park, the Winter Park Jazz Festival. Sick. The best shit. Damn Dry. near, dude. Who, Damn who else near. played that? It was just him. He was like the headliner. Yeah, he, he's and done it a, really? a bunch of other jazz. Times. Oh, dude. Times, really? Too. And it was like an open setting. Band? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, my God. It was beautiful. You know, on the mountainside. Isn't that jazz fans sick? Dude, it's it's... It's so pretty, man. Dope. Yeah. And he, Dope. Got, he got a birthday shout out from Anthony Hamilton. Serious? That's my guy, dude. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. yeah he got shout out to Angel. Yeah, Angel, wow. Angel made yeah. it up. That shit was tight. That's sick as fuck. Yeah, he's the best, dude. Um, That's dope. Hell uh, yeah. So, Bugs threw out <laughs> E40, Young Jeezy, and Method Man. That's, no, that's <laughs> a wild one. I'd Dang. go E40. E4, yeah, I'd go E40, Young Jeezy, Method Man on merch. Whoa! I'm mm. totally reversed. That's interesting. Totally reversed. That's fun. But this is this is because I I, I am a like e, I'm an E40 hater. Really? Yeah. yeah and I'm, I'll say that. Okay. Okay. I'll say that. I love E40. I respect that. I just <laughs> I'm I've been in all the arguments about E40 being overrated. I'm Bro, just, I've been killed for it. But shame on you. I know. I'm I'm the minority on that one. Yeah. So I got E40 on merch. All wow. Day. You're not a Method Man fan. <laughs> nah. Really? Okay. Wu Tang in general or just meth? I'm not a Wu Tang guy. Wu-ta- See, I'm, I'm, with I'm you not there. a Wu Tang guy, either, either, but I, I love Method Man, though. I do love Method. But now, I don't know if he would headline, though, because does he have the hits by himself? To be honest, I wouldn't want to see that show. So you No wanna... way, bro. <laughs> None of them? 
No, no, no. You know, I, I, lo- I love I'm Method Man. You. Yeah. But I'm good. I'm you know? kind of with you on that whole lineup. Yeah. <laughs> Method Man to me is like a good DJ host. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I, I, no offense. No, I got you. I love his energy, but I'm not trying to. I mean, is it, is it me on his like 15th consecutive 420 Denver show? Like, yeah, how many <laughs> times? Bro. How many times yeah, can you he, see you him? You can't on miss him. <laughs> him and Red Man. Yeah, yeah. So you you E40 guy? Uh, uh, I'm a huge Bay Area because oh. because one, one of my music videos was uh, actually the one that also was one of the, for the culture was uh, Tracks a Million. Okay. Uh, Mr. Fab. Mm, uh, Mr. Mr. Side, Fab. Yeah, because so, the music video for yeah. Sideshow, I don't know if you guys have seen that one, but that's like, so. to me, the best low budget culture music video. It's just, it's all about the Sideshow. And, and the, I lived in LA for a couple of years, and my roommate was from the Bay. And so I went up to Sacramento and uh, I did a all day Molly party. <laughs> all day Molly Far. party. How With many of those you been to? Not, not one. <laughs> but Mr. Fab was there. Mr. And Fab. Fucking, uh, who was the other guy that was there? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just, uh, some Bay Area rapper. Yeah, yeah. But just like, just doing Molly all day. <laughs> Jesus uh, Partying just to the music Great. and just mm-hmm. like being in the, co- mm-hmm. just like, I'm just like, have a very strong affinity for that time and that era of No, my I feel life. you. Dude, I'm going to say something. Mr. Fab, Ghost, As bro. a freestyler, bro, hard body. He can do what supernatural does better than supernatural. I've seen him do it live. Interesting, like the little grab the object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does that, and really I think good. He, I think he even like threw some shade at Supernat in the show. Oh wow, he did it better, bro. Wow, Mr. Fab's, I, I, Mr. Yeah. Fab is. Mr. Fab is so good. Yeah. He's a, he's kind of like you don't hear his name that much anymore. He's a zero he really, of the like yeah. Yeah. so perfect. Yeah. That's so like perfect. Bay, Bay Area yeah. just like legend. Yeah, he's like the, gu- just like he's like the guilty Simpson of Detroit or like Hell's Eye of Detroit yeah. or something. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's yeah. Super yeah. fire. And the Bay Area music is so fun. Yeah, you know, it's like energy. Yeah, too short, 100%. man. Oh, yeah, too dude. short. Yeah, your your brother's guy. <laughs> he's all the He's the goat. You know what I mean? I love those guys. Dirty Birdie. We're probably. We're probably, you know Dirty Birdie? Yeah. Do you know who Dirty Birdie is? No. Oh, I thought you thought, I would, if you would have known who that was, no. my mind would have been blown. What's it's like Dirty this, Birdie? It's a rapper from the Bay. Oh, okay. He was he's so, really good. He's an underground dude, but he was so fire like in the early 2000s. Really okay. Nobody knows who he is, okay. but I swear. Really good. But so far. I, Mac, have, I still have a Mac Dre airbrush t shirt. Uh, Mac Dre. That's a good one. A tall T. Fuck yeah. It has but to be right. Tall, it's tall tea, <laughs> but bedazzled too. <laughs> it says Mac Dre. With Classic. The if you would have said airbrush, if you would have said airbrush, that would have been airbrush. No, it is it airbrush. Is airbrush, <laughs> but bedazzled, airbrush, bedazzled airbrush, airbrush, airbrush tall tea. That's and classic. The Mac Dre is in bedazzled. Dude, you should bring back bedazzled airbrush tall tees. Yeah, like you should bring those. We back. really should. I mean, <laughs> All of us. That, yeah, we'll, I have, sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> I have a good one. I have a good one. All right. Kind of from the clues that we did earlier. Gucci. Thug, and then I'm gonna throw in like Kevin Gates, mm. Gucci, oh, Thug, and Kevin Gates. Kevin in there. Do you know that Kevin Gates is one of my top favorite rappers? I did know that. He's That's why I'm throwing him in there. He's up there for me too. I love Kevin. Uh, to me, it'd be Gucci, Kevin Gates, Thug. Dan, what about you? I think you might go Kevin Gates for sure. Wait, headlining? Opening? Headlining. headlining. He's my guy. Have you seen him live? I haven't. I haven't. I haven't seen. I've any seen, of them. I haven't I've seen, seen any videos of them and stuff, but I seen uh, Gucci, Gucci Man is a thousand times better than him live. Really? I mean, I could. You could believe that by a thousand. But I mean, I could see it. Yeah, for sure. Kevin Gates is a little. <laughs> I seen him. I, seen I, I him understood you. Loud. You don't even need to finish the sentence. Or oh, I think it's like Coachella or Rolling Loud or yeah. something like that. I seen one of his sets. Also, new Kevin Gates sucks compared to old Kevin for sure. Gates. That's that's for a fact. Sure. That's I'm a fact. That. Because you're like, man, we get the upset. I kind of feel the yeah, same. Right. I kind of feel the same. I kind of feel the same way about Gucci, you? but I don't think new Gucci really sucks. I just don't think it's as good. As old Agreed. Gucci's hard. Oh, old, yeah. old Gucci oh, is like dude. Yeah. every Gucci music video that I did was better than. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. So I'm going Gucci, Gates Thug, all day. I'm going to go... That's what you did, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to go Gates. Kevin... I'm going to go Kevin Gates. I just like him. Um, Gucci, then Thug, probably. Okay. I would do that. We're we're at a 8.50... Do you know who, do you know who has the worst performance? Who? Who's my favorite rapper? Oh, oh, Lord. That's a good question anyway, but go ahead. Kid Cudi. Really? really? I've oh, seen man. him five times live. Not good. Terrible. It's not good. Oh, Except Lord. for once. Oh, I can't... Terrible. I'd have to think about that, like... 
rap. But I, he's my favorite rapper. My favorite rapper is Kendrick, and he blew my mind live. I was yeah. about to say that he's one of the best. He live. blew my mind. Like that would kind of that would kind of suck seeing your favorite, and he, he didn't just impress. sucks. Yeah, yeah, that would suck. I saw I, when I saw it, it was it was a shitty lineup. I think it was a shitty lineup because it was Kid Cudi opening for Logic. Oh, I, hate, wow. I hate Logic. At Red Rocks? Wow. <laughs> I'm not a Logic guy. We know this. But I left before Logic, and I was like, because I was like, this is fucking <laughs> shitty. If that was a good, lo- <laughs> if that was a good Logic's not going to yeah. cure my mood. Let's yeah. get the fuck out of here. This fucking nerd's going to play video ha- games with his girlfriend. Let's go to fucking to Herbs. Fucking Let's go see the band at Herbs <laughs> yeah. or El Chapultepec. Or 100%. 100%. <laughs> we're, at yeah. eight, we're at 856. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to throw a wrench in it and do comedians. Okay. Ooh, so okay. I'm going to say. Go ahead. Kevin Hart, okay. Cat Williams, the third one. I had the third one, but then as I was going to say, I was like, that dude doesn't measure up. I want to make it a little more difficult. Kevin Hart, Cat Williams. Dave Chappelle. Chris Rock. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Dave Chappelle For would me, be too easy on headliner. I'd go like. probably Kevin Hart because I think he's so funny. I'd probably do it the order you said, Cat Williams, and then the other guy. Mm. What, what was the third Chris, Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Yeah, I, he doesn't translate for me. Ugh, Max, I think it's you sound like you had an opinion. Um, <laughs> this one's tough. I know, I know, Chris Rock's on merch though. What? Yeah, yeah I agree. Do we not? I mean, you guys, have you guys seen bigger, blacker, yeah, and seen yeah, like, I've like, seen them all. So, that's play. so oh, old. Bro. I mean, it is old. But I mean, did you see his last one? Sucked. But if I would have said Eddie yeah, Murphy, you got to you have to compare his eighties ones, which did? are sure. But, but I mean, them we're being also old, in two thousand twenty-four, yeah. and you're like, man, we're gonna see. So Kevin Hart versus an old ass Chris Rock. So maybe like everybody you. in their prime. So maybe I should have said Chappelle because I feel like Chappelle's new ones aren't great either. Chappelle's are better than Chris Rock. I mean, Hell, that, 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 that might be true, but I'm in general his old. I didn't ones, think Chris Rock's new one was good at all. Me either. With the, about the Will Smith and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cat Williams is number one for me. Whoa. Really? I think okay. Out of that order, just because. Okay. He's so he's so damn funny. The pimp, man. The pimp chronicles alone so is, good. Is We're a, talking right now. That's a top fiver yes. like special ever. I agree I just with that. seen a new one. No, well, well I he's mean, touring right now. Yeah, I've seen some Shay part Shay of that, Shay and shit. it's funny, man. So yeah, no, he's he's that dude. I'm taking Kevin Hart as a headliner with you though. I think uh, uh, Kevin. I Kat. think he's I the most well rounded. Funny guy. Kevin Cat, Chris. Anybody over 40 would kill us for putting Chris on there. And I get it, but, you know, <laughs> the fall off is real. Yeah, I mean, you can't. I, I mean, you it. can't, can't say do that. Forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, he's the GOAT for yeah. sure, but he's one of he, them. His, if I was to be introduced to his All three. comedy oh, okay. versus with the first, the, with the most recent oh, one, yeah, yeah. But like, oh, this guy's yeah. not funny. Yeah, you know? for Comparatively. Sure. That's for sure. That's a good, There's so ju- many that's a good judgment more funny guys. tactic right there. But, man, dude. Good show, bro. I'm so happy you came yeah, he's through, the man. Thank you. Jeremy hey. fucking Cape in the building. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Oh, absolutely. Of course. Like, uh, like, I, like I told you, I'll tell the li- Like, you come up all the time. All the time on the show. Leno's over here just like, Pape, my guy. He did this. I'm That's like, yeah, Pape. Because I get, oh, Pape did my videos, too. Oh, <laughs> shit. It's like, Bugs is like, Pape, you know, I just interviewed him. You've, like, never, Pape, you've never heard... No. A bad thing about this, gonna say. man. <laughs> In all the years that we've been around, you've never heard it. It's always like, yo, Pape is my best friend. <laughs> Pape is he like, has yeah. so many best yeah. friends, you know? Oh, real quick, it's dude. Big. The Hustlers Brunch Dope Game Yeah, reunion. that's kind of fun, right? Welcome dope to Dope Game, game. Haven't yeah. heard that yeah. Minute. Dope. yeah, welcome to it. So who's so do you know who's coming through to that? Like, I mean, who's the original Dope Game? I know there was a lot eventually, but like, who? <sighs> I mean, the people that think Obviously, Recipes, Derek. Yeah, yeah, yeah Recipes, sure. Derek. I mean, uh, the dope game to me is like my my. That's like still my best friends to this day. Yeah, you know, absolutely. it's it's that's uh, like fresh for us. Turner, Turner. It's Bobby, Tur- Bobby, Hustle yep. Man, myself. I ain't seen Turner or Hustle forever. Uh, I mean, I don't. I ain't seen Bobby forever either. But I feel like I, you know we see each other on social media. But that's cool though. Yeah, that's cool. So like, do you guys all? Like, are you guys all in the same room still to this day? Like, yeah, those are, recently, I mean, or like yeah, those are all, yeah, okay. those are all my best friends. So the reunion is for everybody else. You guys yeah, never yeah, lost touch. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, Time. yeah. And I mean, <clears throat> I mean, like, the dope game. The dope game was something bigger than all of us. And like the, like me and Turner and Bobby and Hustle and, yeah, like, we're all real friends. Right, right, yeah. And then they're. Who just happened to have talent? Like, ex- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or people that like felt like they need, you know, like. 
the Denver industry is one of those oh, things yeah. where we, it's like people attach themselves to things. And we'll, and, ta- you know, we'll talk about that was, off yeah. off the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you know, my my young self was uh, cool with accepting everyone, which yeah. is t- I think an important c- yeah, cool absolutely. thing. But as in my old age, you know, I don't care about anyone else but my real friends <laughs> that, so and, 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 you know so it's like my my real friends you know that's it's amazing how that happens isn't it yeah <laughs> totally, totally. Or, or even like the ones i met through the music scene the ones that just never if you just never hated on me for no fucking reason because that's a lot to ask in denver yeah. Yeah. If you never hate on me for no fucking reason you're cool Bug, totally. like bugs me and bugs didn't connect for a long time but he never hated just for no reason totally. so many people do that so like that's totally. why we linked up totally you know, so. yeah that's what's up, man. Yeah, so my best friends are still my best friends. That's you know, that's that's a cool thing about art and like like what I was saying earlier is about like like having art babies and like <laughs> you know like me and Turner really did do hard life things and grow up together. Yeah. You know, and that's why he'll be my best friend forever. And same with Jason, same with yep. Bobby, same with Hustle Man. Like all like those are those are my guys. And yeah, so that sure. like uh, you know. W- Welcome to the Dope Game was our moniker and and our fun little gang together, and we had a hoot with all of that. But um, other people were involved in that, and we love them also. And yes, sir. But uh, but my real friends are you know yeah. those are those are my real brothers. So the Welcome to the Dope Game thing will be with me and my real brothers. Yeah, yeah that's dope, man. It's my, my real I'm friends always, hanging out. I'm gonna try to get there. Man. Come on, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do my best. I fun. promise. Yeah, it'd be cool. <clears throat> but shout out to Jeremy Pate, man. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, shout out to everyone in the chat. This was a solid chat, man. Y'all were definitely participating. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll definitely need to have you back. No, we, I mean, we yeah, we got to do more top debates. twenty. I got to. That's too many count. <laughs> but uh, I'm Paul Jr. I'm Boogie Man Paul. Here's the thing. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to also follow. Okay, here's the thing on YouTube and IG.